Ahoy hoy! I am Planner Walk, and welcome to a stream where I work on stuff. That's a rare occurrence. Never I'm usually never productive during my streams, so I'm just going to move the mic a little bit closer. Uh, hey. Alright, there we go. How's everyone doing? Let me... I just message someone. What is, oh, what is Flurfia? Flurfia. Um, so, some people may know about Flurfia already. But Flurfia, Flurfia is a game that I've been working on, uh, been developing, and starting to actually get, starting to get to a point where I'm actually getting very happy with it, and I probably, my hair is probably a mess, so I'm just going to brush that a little bit. Yeah, so Flurfia is a game that I've been working on, and... It's, yeah, it's starting to get to a point where I'm actually happy with it, because for a while I was, I was thinking, okay, something's not right, because the game wasn't as fun as other games that I've made in the past, and I was trying to work out why. Uh, probably, probably, probably was just a lack of stuff in it, stuff to do. But now it's got a decent amount of stuff, so it's fun again. Well, fun. It wasn't, you know. Uh, particularly having bosses in games can make a game quite fun. Or at least that's fr from my experience it can. Make sure there is micro... <laughs> yeah, mi micro uh, transactions, right? I'm just going to message someone... Uh, I'm going to message them saying that they can join my s There we go. All right. Um Prime gnome ulti my gnome says, hello, Planner Walk. Can you reveal us what the catch in your latest video about Ken Wheeler's uh, nonsense? Uh, so with that video, yeah, there are a few things about that that I'm not going to reveal quite yet. Um, I do want people to answer the questions. Like, that's actually the most annoying thing. No one's actually given a serious attempt to answer the questions that I posed in that video. I have had Ken Wheeler... Uh, fans come along to that video and be like, come come along to that video and be like, oh yeah, um, good on you for admitting that you're wrong, right? But they don't answer the questions, which was a big point that I wanted answered. You know? So yeah, we'll we'll have to see how it goes. But I I do have plans to hopefully get the questions answered so let's hope that that goes well and then um then we'll be able to you know hopefully hopefully reach some kind of understanding all righty so um what was it? oh yeah here's what i was going to do i go to layers Go layer image Yeah, it does make me think that most of them don't understand what Ken Wheeler says. But hey, maybe someone will prove me wrong and they will actually answer what Ken answer oh that's not the right colour. I'll actually answer the questions that I pose. Prove that they, you know, have a decent understanding of what Kinkulus is. Um, 
something that I've been meaning to do for a while now, actually. This, this thing here, I mean. So let's image canvas size go for a width of eight here. All right. That'll give me a little bit more space to work in. Iris Valentine says I popped in because I have seen a few of your videos, but this is the first I've heard of a Flurpy game. Yeah, um This is something that I've been been working on there we go there we go that looks a lot better all right it is gimp file export as a binary 5g yeah i guess some people haven't heard of it so this is a game that i've been working on uh for a while now and it's starting to get to a point which i'm Quite happy with it. Every time I get happy with it, though, it's like, yeah, there's still something I need to work on. And let's go duplicate. Um, there's a reason. So. To a HD cat, there is a reason why I didn't name it Flatardia because first it just doesn't really work with what I'm going for. Like in this world, like so in the game, firstly, the Flurfs are the smart people. They're the people that have actually you know blown open the uh, conspiracy. And as far as uh, as Iris Valentine mentioned, it is kind of offensive, you know, like, there'll be people that won't buy the game simply because that is in the name of the game. And so Flurifia, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot less offensive. Um, and, you know, it's... When it comes to Flurf, offenses, I mean, you're like... It's okay to be offensive in some in some ways, but like when you're trying to market a thing, generally avoiding offense is a good idea, you know? Unless you want to crash right into that fence, in which case, be my guest. Actually, don't crash into the fence. You're probably going to cost someone a bit of money. So don't crash into the fence, guys. Anyway. Uh... So, per, sir, peek up the benevolence says, oh, thank God, a live stream for someone about me. Is that the new thing that they're arguing about? Have they moved on from the sex stint and moved on to x-rays? And why is everything not showing up? Um, did I save it to... Sorry, 5G. There we go. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll just give it another one in a thousand chance. Five G. There we go. And time to test. Yeah, you do. Like, there's a whole lot of marketing stuff that you have to consider. I'm going to probably have to change the volume of my PC, so. Go over here. Is there a mention of they? Yes, they. There is actually already a mention of they. All right. 
uh, Iris Valentine says um, I run D and D campaigns, and once I spend ages tr on trying to make an actual flat world and the heavy magic setting work, there's so many things that just don't work. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things that don't work. <laughs> There's actually one game where they could have actually, where they had the opportunity, I guess, to make something that worked, you know, for for their night system, but then they didn't use it. They could have used, used the Tilt of the Earth, instead they didn't use the Tilt of the Earth, and like, that's a thing that can make eternal night. You realise that, right? Uh, I suppose... To be fair, it wasn't like, it didn't turn into Antarctica there. But like if they had turned it into Antarctica then it would have worked, but seeing as they actually just had something over the atmosphere that could keep it at least somewhat warm, I guess. Otherwise the heat would escape, they just had the tilt of the earth. Could have done a few ways of going about it, I guess. Oh. I'm so used to just skipping through all this. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's... <laughs> let's go to the next thing, which... Here we go. Okay. Just got to wait. Alright, rather than skipping through. Alright, what's people saying whilst I wait for... I actually have to sort of pay attention to this, Steph. Only getting zeros and ones. To be fair, it's a one, one in a thousand chance. I get a... Two or a five D. Hopefully we get that one in a thousand chance. It didn't take long. It's not really one in a thousand that we get. It's not really one in a thousand, it's more. Probably up the chance of something like this. <laughs> Other than waiting for, for it to happen. I do like to test things organically though. make sure it actually happens. Because sometimes I actually do notice the two. Come up and eh, there's a two. <laughs> 5G should be fairly noticeable. At least I'd hope it would be noticeable. Not noticeable. Why am I doing Yeah, I'm gonna up the chance. Yeah. Um, go smaller than or equal to fifty, and then should. does the bar binary mean? No, it doesn't actually mean anything. It's just randomly generated. Um. Is the spell to change the direction of gravity? No, not technically not. You can change your density though. Uh, only ever so slightly. So yeah, you can change your relative density, but... Let's... Alright, here we go. Yeah. Well, oh, that's the wrong one. Fifty-nine. 
59 is the same as 50, right? <laughs> Uh, at least if you're a flurf, 59 will be the same as um, 50. Uh, so here we go. Let's hope that this works. And, ah, oh, it's talking about audio bit rates. Because I have an audio gate. I have, uh, I couldn't miss an opportunity on it. Well, then we'll be, so technically there is actually something to change. Now I'll show you when I get up to the next thing. Okay, let's. Either we're getting hot loop. Okay, we don't appear to be getting any five Gs. Okay, I'm gonna be upping. Just, I'm gonna just up the chance here because this be like a one in new chance. Why is my math not working? <laughs> okay. That's... Your 1 in 20 chance. Five ninety. Now that should be a 1 in 2 chance. If this doesn't... If this doesn't do the thing, then something's wrong with this. I think something's wrong with it anyway. Ah, uh, development problems when your IDE decides to fail on you. <laughs> In my head, Belu looks like Solus the owl demon of <laughs> the knowledge. I mean... It, it sort of carries the theme, doesn't it? The owl demon of knowledge. It's kind of like what Belu is, except Belu is the alien of forbidden knowledge. Yeah, this definitely shouldn't be doing what it's doing. Yeah, okay. Let's go import. if this fixes it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to restart my restart game maker. It is not something that I like having to do. What a time for a game maker to fail, eh? Hopefully, I don't have to restart my PC. That would be uh, rather annoying. How was everyone? Oh yeah, how was everyone's new year? Mine was uh, great. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Especially seeing as oh, should probably I wear my glasses like new glass, new glasses, especially for. All right, let's see. Ah, gonna have to start up my ID. Let's actually close a few things down. Yeah, let's close this code window down. Data's right there, so we'll be fine. Okay. 
The horrific electromagnetical yeti. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna uh, use uh, over here. When I click, okay, Windows, when I click on a different window or different monitor to the one that I'm using, I expect things to come out on that monitor. Not on the monitor that, not on my default monitor. Okay, Windows, you got that? We, we, we all good now? Okay. Okay. We've got Daniel K uh, Daniel Gable saying looks like an interesting concept uh for a game. Yeah, it is It's not gonna be like the game where you'd take on the role of God. <laughs> no, you're not you're not gonna have quite the Wait. I waved to the person that just waved at me on Discord. I don't know why. I don't know why they waved at me, but they did. Hopefully, I don't have to put in my password. <laughs> I'll be moving it to a different monitor if I have to. Windows, nope. You'll get it where we put it in. That's not consensual. I don't know what I not I have a notification here. Ah. So used to just having a friend notific incoming friend notification that I forget to accept or not accept it. Alrighty, here we go. Um Let's see if everything's fixed. Yep. This is typical for me. Every time I try and run something, something has to go wrong. Right? Every time you're testing it, something's gone wrong. Whether it's my fault or not, you know, if it's something so simple that I can't get it wrong, then the program is just like, okay, yeah, we're going to make it go wrong for you. Yeah, you... You thought you thought all you had to do was import a thing. Well, no, you, you gotta. We, we're gonna have more things than that go wrong. Okay. Okay, we make sure everything is called the right thing, or every. Don't tell me that I'm. Okay. Uh... Wait. Yeah, that should be loading in this sprite. It's called PR underscore binary underscore five G. I go to objects. And go to Hmm, what was I gonna Oh that was later. It should be Yeah. When I did it for this it worked. Like if I were to put if I were to type in two there, I bet you it would work. It wouldn't be my code. Import again. Later, it doesn't work. Not even as a video. Yeah, true. Where? Importing that. This is something that should be simple. Why is it not working? Don't tell me that I will have to be restarting my computer.
So I doubt I'm getting... I doubt that the RNG is just like, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to give you the thing that you want. Okay. Ah. Let's just import like binary one and import five G. This is rather annoying. This is I, like <laughs> it. Let's just hope that it works. <laughs> I don't want to have to restart my computer. Like, right when I just, it's like, okay. Right when you decide to, de you know, to develop something. We're going to, we're going to, you know, it's just not going to work. I'm forcing you to restart your computer. Oh, that's. Like, if I just change this to be two, it's going to show up a whole lot of, a whole lot of twos are going to show up. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, I'm I'm a big big idiot. <laughs> Okay, we've got more things to deal with. Okay, control C. Uh, user. I am an I'm an idiot. I thought that it was the I thought it was everything else that was going wrong. I thought that it was everything else that was going wrong. I am so much of an idiot. I thought it, it's, you know, okay, let's go community and go there, wait, save it. Yeah, one of the things I also... So I removed the bots myself. I also... Try to... Get a... Th I also try and get it as much of... I have no brain. Uh, I also try to... Get the thing that the bot says and block it. Well, it really helps when you can do that. That's the 5G journey. <laughs> True. Uh. I thought I thought that it was something else. Uh, it was me the whole time. 
Like, yeah, so simple that I can't get it wrong. There we go. There we go. Occasion 5G. There we go. And let's reduce the chance down to 1 and 2. To equal to 1 and 1,000. Right, we report them. Yeah, that that's fair. I it's, it's such a sort of formulate thing that they go through now. To the point where, you know, most people, to most people, it probably doesn't actually look like a bot because it doesn't spam. It, you know, so because it's not spamming, it kind of looks kind of like your average message. And some people will be like, oh, I guess I can put... Then, like, if you're tech-savvy to know that it's a website, you're probably tech-savvy enough to know that you shouldn't go to the website. <laughs> you know? Well, let's make sure that 5... Let's hope that 5G comes up sometime. Now, just to make sure it actually works as intended. Alright, okay, I see a message in the corner of my eye coming up, but I have to pay attention to what's actually going on on screen. Because, you know, 5G might appear any, any second, any day now. want to be there when it does make sure yes 5g is showing up now I saw another message appear not quite as lengthy as the first I have somewhat I, I have good enough eyesight that I can see things appear just not good enough eyesight to be able to read what it is that's appearing Okay, any day now. I'm sure I've seen a two. Yeah, I'm sure I just saw a two. We actually should have a higher chance of being a 5G than um, a two, theoretically. So. Uh, why are we getting twos and not four? Why is it? Uh, It's constant too. Am I overestimating the amount one in a chance of something being one in a thousand? Um, anyway, uh, seeing as I somehow got a big bruise when I got my booster, the shot hurt like hell. I guess I should have went to my doc. Or in the sea of pharmacy, yeah. One of the issues is that you do have, like, there are people that go to a place and get their shot, and it's not as. Let's put output. You should also have your character grow a beard in the meanwhile. Uh, that would be fun if I could do that. Alrighty. Continue. Alrighty. 
Now I've actually got a debug message to go along with everything, so if I don't see it, I'll also I'll still see it. Okay, uh, should see when a 5G appears, both on screen and on the debug console. I want to see, I want to see the five, elusive 5G appear. Maybe it's not as, maybe I should bump it up to one in a 500 chance of it appearing. <sighs> I mean, typical for it to appear awesome, but I have a debug message to go along with it so that I can monitor if it appears or not. appeared yet. Oh my luck would appear. Get a debug message. Or oh, I get a crash because debug message wrong syntax something. <laughs> Is it syntax or syntax? I've always just said it as syntax, but I think I've heard some people say it differently to me. Am I up at like one, one in five hundred rather than one in a thousand? I've been sitting here for a while, waiting for a five G to appear. I'll just be here for like a thousand seconds. Let's go one thousand second timer. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. We should get it within a thousand seconds. So. The list of 5G to appear. Be a nice little Easter egg, I think. Basically, got to wait 16 minutes. Oh, seconds is longer than I thought it would be. So, yeah, maybe I'll up it to. I mean, what? I'm trying to think what of. All in favor of raising the chance of getting. I'll probably. Actually, what I'll do is I'll change it to. Yeah, we'll change this to small equal to two. So then that will be time We don't. I had an idea for something today, but I, I I have a lot of good ideas, but I always forget what they are. Probably something, a joke about anti-vax, <laughs> to be honest. What was that joke about anti-vax? And it was a good one, too. At least I think it was good.
Probably the Americans calling it sign text because the yeah. I'm sure I've heard people some people pronounce it sign text. When someone now you've made a good pun if everyone true. Or if everyone laughs. Okay, now we don't have to wait as long for 5G Topia. Oh yeah, I'm seeing twos come up. Oh, there we go. We got a 5G. Okay, cool. I might, I might just lower the charts ever so slightly. I'm removing that. All right. Now it's two and a thousand. Now it's one in 500 rather than one in 303. All right, there we go. And we'll move the debug message because that's a that's a thing that I need to do. All right, what what's the next thing that we're on to? And taxes, or you pay f buying alcohol and cigarettes. True. True. All right. Now I should probably get on to some rather than Easter eggs that. Take it way too much time, uh, because, you know. Alrighty, uh, let's close this down. Chart changes. Um, close this down. Changes. Oh, this is currently the characters that are in my game, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Daniel Gable pronounces it syntax. Is that the... Hold on, let's... Let's... Ah, uh, no, I just want to... Syntax. Yeah, syntax. Syntax. Yeah, syntax. <laughs> it's not sign text. Okay, we can close this down. Let's discard changes. So these are the characters that I've currently got in the game. Technically there's more, but they don't have their own head, so... Yeah. Well, they do have a head, but they just don't have a... Profile picture. <laughs> we'll see. I wonder if I could, oh, I wonder if I could. Hang on. See if I can grab this guy on, bring this guy on stream. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could, should I say. And I'm not gonna make fun of it. Anyway, um. That one, Bob N Nodell. Is there someone here that looks like Bob Nodell? I don't think... I don't think anyone here really looks like Bob Nodell. Who would... I suppose like bottom left kind of... Um, let me bring up Bob. Bob Noodle. Boob Noodle. Alright. Bottom left, kind of looks like Bob Nodell a little bit, but here's Bob. Bob's hair is not white enough. I suppose it has lost a lot of color here, but the eyebrows also have. Actually, um, let me.
actually this guy here. Um, bring this over. Sort of see where I took a lot of the thing <laughs> design from. Oh yeah, it's Dusty Smith. Alrighty, um... We are, that's actually the character we're going to work on. File. Open. Alrighty. Images. We're gonna to go to characters. Open up the dusty idol. File. Open. Characters. And we're gonna go player. What do we need? Alright, because Dusty is probably just idols. The idle animation gonna be like, because I was thinking of just tapping this combat idle the same as this normal. Not in combat idle, it's mostly the player that does that. Hmm. Why are there no bald characters? Because I haven't made a bald character yet. Don't worry, there will be bald characters. There'll be all kinds of characters. Um, okay, so we need... Alright, let me think. So, we don't... Dusty isn't going to go very far, so we're not going to need any, you know... Ooh. We're not going to need any, anything of him running. So, we've got a walking sprite. Don't need standing up because that's for the, that's literally just for one single animation. Idle is jump sprite. Not yet. Hurt sprite. Yes, Dusty will need it. Okay, open. This will be one of the easier ones to do. Hopefully. All right. Let's just copy the head over. Um, It's color uh be doing That looks a bit. Now we can. Just get rid of. Stuff here. All righty. All righty. Now need to oh. 
Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, the opacity back up to 100. And do the outline here. I have people messaging me. Or maybe it's just Twitter notifications. What is it? Um, yeah. All righty. Um, Yeah, it's all, uh, I can understand people losing a lot of respect for, uh, like, people like Eminem. Because, like, the whole N I, I find the whole NFT thing to be stupid, to be honest. Oh, I don't get it. Getting it, buying NFTs just seems like a waste. Waste of good money. I'm. I'm never gonna buy an NFT. <laughs> oh, they're they're evolving. <laughs> The bots are evolving. The bots are evolving. Okay, um, you are going. When you defeat them, the way that I have. Then you know they they evolve and do things. By the way, I should probably shill. You know, keep my head fun of these British. Yeah, that's fair. It's not fair that you got made fun of. It's just fair that you use British spellings rather than. Okay, I'm I actually got new jeans the other day. Oh, and a second pair, of, no, a third pair of skinny jeans. These ones aren't as broken as as one of the other pairs. It was good. Okay, take this and put it in here. It's going to be a somewhat difficult right to make. Alright, and let's take the arm color and try and translate this over. Um, Uh, 
That works for that arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove a little bit there. Ah, oh, found it. Oh, um, well, remove, we'll take a little bit of that out of here. Then we'll. There we go, that gets, that gets the point across. Yeah, all right. Alrighty, now that we've got this, let's grab this piece of value of it a little bit over here. Um, new layer. Right. <coughs> <coughs> and we'll edge. Ah, bugger. Alpha lock. This is how art gets produced. By the way, in case people weren't clear about what I was... This, no, it's not Daniel Pratt. I, I showed you earlier, it's Dusty Smith. It's this guy here. Bottom left. No. I look like Daniel Pratt a little bit, but it's a different person. Okay, let's just change a different color. Or oh, not a different color, but a, a, a bit darker. I think that's about right. That looks about right, I think. Okay, um, go new layer. It's gonna be the more difficult one to get. Um, I should probably. Go back to this first we hold to <clears throat> and we'll go to here grab grab this. Mm -hmm. cool. Make sure. Right layer. And then we'll grab 
this color again and this color again. Yeah. Race. But they are. work That, yeah, this works a bit better, I think. Kind of just... Alrighty. Game development is difficult, guys. <laughs> and girls. And... Gender... Non... Non-binary folk. <laughs> All right. Uh... All righty. Um, here we go. Why? Uh, hang on. Let's see if this is gonna. Let's see if this. Do that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna... Yeah. Need to... That works well. All right, now I can. Oh my! Where am I coughing? Be something that I cough. Shouldn't be coughing. All right. Um. What? Nah, uh, I think I'm gonna... I think this looks better. Definitely see the arm jutting out, I guess. Alrighty. That looks good. Just make... <laughs> yeah, like if I have something, someone like Daniel Pratt, it would just be a walking... Boiler, not 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 even Daniel Pratt, just his water heater, <laughs> you know. It's, you know, a lawsuit is not particularly a thing that. Basically, I think technically I can actually get away with representing any real life person as long as it's satirical. As long as I'm representing them in a satirical way, I think I can represent anybody. That's not the. We do. Um, let's go Control Z. Let's go back to here and then. Oh.
Pratt equals uh, points refuted a thousand times. Exactly. Exactly. Go there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, everything works. All right. <clears throat> uh. Um, Don's actually joined the Discord to be like, oh yeah, it's chat yeah. <laughs> or anything, you know. Even though I'm just I'm just sitting here. Discord server. No, it's annoying me. I like Aaron Ra's Pratt list. That's interesting. No, he had a Pratt list. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna have a cookie. I've got, I've got cookies. In case I get hungry. One of the cookies is broken. <laughs> the first cookie I see falls apart after I pick it up. Nice. Good good job, Cadbury. Good job. I'm not sure if you can use function. Doesn't look like you can, really. No, people can't. Okay. Okay. So actually, I should be this black. You'd wish you'd have a cookie right now, but you've just developed, developed a bowl of cocoa pops. As for you. Yeah, you're getting an insight into the creative process behind Lofia right now. This is where all everyone's super chats and everything goes to, so if you feel like supporting Flurfia, you can always use super chats and Patreon money. Whichever one works best, really. I need to go with Ursic. Okay, um...
Okay. Sage Ohio says hi all. Hi Ohio. Try saying that ten times ten times fast. Hi Ohio, hi Ohio, hi Ohio. That's yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be. Uh, I would not be able to do. That's not something. That, that's not a challenge that I'm willing to uh, do any bets to. I'd, I'd fail it. Anyway, um. Oh, no, Sir Six is an atheist channel. Sir Six is fun. He's also done some flat earth stuff that I enjoyed, especially with Barnabas Nagy. Especially, oh, I love this thing where, he, uh, where Barnabas like found out about the document. I was like, yeah, this. And then Sirsic got wind of Barnabas <laughs> on that. My channel wasn't even mentioned. <laughs> Like, he shouted a whole lot of channels out, and the one <laughs> channel that, you know, led to this content wasn't even mentioned. What, what you gonna do, though? Nah. Oh, we probably need a lighter cut. Look at this. Good. I went close. <laughs> yeah, no, we're close. That is. All this needs to be lighter. All right. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Lighter. And then, what about... That's a bit better. Definitely a lot closer. Need a bit more darker. That's a bit. yeah, that's definitely closer. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's exact, yeah, that's, that's what we want. <coughs> yes. <coughs> um, yeah, Hans is definitely an odd this I need to do a video on Hans. I know he's Simon Dan's particular thing, but I should probably also do a video on Hans. You know, Simon and Dan can't have all the fun, you know?
Okay. Let's. <laughs> Blind Man Dan is also an odd biscuit. Gonna say that to Simon Dan's face. <laughs> Can't actually be here today, unfortunately. Did ask him if he wants. He's like, nah, I have a thing to do. Like, okay, have fun with your thing. You can always join another. It would have been fun to <laughs> be an idiot like, right <laughs> about my programming. Who knows, maybe, maybe if Simon Dan had joined I would have noticed that I needed an else statement. Rather than just adding that if statement there. You know. Who knows how Chaos Theory would have changed my perception. To be honest, I'm, I probably still would have missed that I need else statement. What's your opinion of Thunderfoot? Um, I I like the science stuff that he does. Like some of his other content hasn't been the the greatest. Like yeah, I do like when he debunks things like Elon Musk and stuff. You know, you know like Elon Musk sometimes deserves a good debunking. I should actually make a video like talking about Elon Musk at some point. Because, like, Elon Musk, one of them people that initially you hear, initially, initially when I heard about him, like, oh, this person sounds great. And then, as time went on, it's like, well, okay, that's, that's not a good that he did. That's not a good that he did. Yeah. I mean, where's he from? Is he from the? Well, he's not from the UK. I don't think he's from some place. Europe, I think. He's a funny accent. It's not a bad thing, though. I have missed opportunities to talk to him, though. <laughs> ah. Really? <laughs> Either of these over. You really thought the electric trucks might take off, but you're... Yeah. <laughs> that could be taken a few different ways. Okay. Just... 
It's about... Actually, let's use the... Okay. Exactly where this needs to go. Okay, yeah, there needs to be... Needs a, needs a bit more weight here. Uh, let's... Uh, Okay. Oh, the hyperloop thing is an another good Hyperloop is one of those things which, you know, a lot of people got excited for and turned out to be a big disappointment. Only someone could have predicted that. <laughs> Only. Maybe we wait. What's this? Yeah, yeah, that works, I think. There we go. Yeah, that that looks acceptable. All right, there we there we go. We've got we've got our dusty getting hit. It's right. There we go. File what as we don't want to overwrite because we're. Export. All right. There we go. All right, here, there we go. That's the process it takes to create one sprite. <laughs> you can see why I don't like doing this. Well, I don't like the sprite creation process. It's a, it's a tedious thing to do. Okay, uh, I'm not going to need to think of what we're going to need. We're going to need an attack sprite for him, but it's not going to be the... Typical attack sprite. Uh, we're gonna also need a death right.
Hmm. All right, what are we going to do for this? This is going to be difficult. This is actually going to be fairly difficult to come up with. Ideas? <laughs> Okay, walking sprite. Um, yeah, let's let's import the. All right, let's import his idle sprite. What river is in Flurfia? Denial. Ah, yeah. I'll actually probably have a river called Denial. It'll be a. Maybe I will flow right through it. Hello, Doug. How are you doing? We need to get the dusty idle. Right, here we go. Okay. And denial is not just a river in Egypt, exactly. How are you doing, Chris? Jeremy? You something last night. Still a work in progress uh, when it comes to music, uh, as is anything. Uh, but it's a song about song about how I don't need Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's see how, let's think about how this is going to go. So we need to have, right, that pulls out a gun and then starts shooting. Oh, well. That's <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> a thing that I saw recently. Game. I feel like it was Delta Rune. Kind of random. If I recall correctly. I can't remember. I feel like I saw something. Just lines that were being drawn. That's because I'm thinking of how I'm going to go about. I'm going to go about this. Well, you rant a bit about Flatties too. Yeah, if you want me to, like, if you bring up something for me to rant about, I'll rant about it, you know? Uh, it's just that I've also got to work on stuff while I'm ranting. Because, you know, that's how this thing works. Um, honestly, my brain is a little bit fried right now. <laughs> Uh, that. Alrighty. Um. You know, my brain being fried is due to it being an early morning. So this is like how I normally am at this time in the morning. Control V, control v and over here.
That's, that's in a trophy over here, and as I remember that it's which pictures, so it's them three and them two. Do that. Do remove this. And yeah, here we go. Talking to us helps. Well, it's more that talking like this. Uh, do the reason why I'm doing this. Um, the reason why I'm doing this dream is simply because like it gives you guys a bit of an insight into the creative process. And I want to spend more time this month just working on Flurfia. And having to put out videos does take a bit of time. Especially like it takes a bit of time away from Flurfia. So doing a few streams where I'm working on Flurfia. Hey, I'm working on Flurfia and I'm getting content out. Unfortunately, streams don't tend to be as profitable as uh, putting videos out. Uh, super chats, please. <laughs> Only if you feel um, uh, like you want to. Uh, anyway, um, what is this game going to be about? It's going to be about if the Earth were to be flat. So, um, if I just show you the intro of the game, or, or even the outro, or not the outro, the outro yet. In fact, I actually removed the credits thing so that you can go back to the town. I can... Alright, um... So, if I go... Load... So, as you can see... Uh, very clearly... In flat. Uh, let's load the first... No, that's... Oh, two, I think. Yeah, there we go. Chat is helping by being the rubber duck. So yeah, very clearly flat here. <laughs> the water is very, very flat by the looks of things. In fact, it's perfectly flat. Ah, that's something I need to do. That's right. Um, I love especially seeing as a go to the only area that it becomes an issue. Go to I mean, yeah, it could be a cube. That is one possibility. I'd laugh so hard if the water actually had a one pixel curve. That would be funny. That would be funny. Unfortunately, a one pixel would be fairly noticeable. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty. The attack for dust. Yeah. <clears throat> Need to think of how this is gonna go. Ugh. Um. Okay, well, Durham, well, Durham is my location. Okay. For a second, I thought you were saying Gable Durham is your last name. <laughs> so, uh, something about not needing Jeebus. There's a hundred thousand about needing Je needing Jeebus, so we could. Yeah, that's ex exactly. You know, like uh, I'm. The song is about how I don't need Jesus. I actually have a really nice. <laughs> 
chord progression, which turns out to be the same goddamn four chords that I use all the time. Uh, if I just get a little bit, if you forgive me for getting a little bit distracted, uh, we don't, okay, we don't want to hear about four. Sorry, Russian looking name. User settings, and it's another thing in here. Community. Okay. Um. Yeah. Don't you hate when you write a song? At Don't you hate when you write a song and it turns out that it uses the same four chords as every other song? That's literally what happened with this song. So. Like sure, some of the chords are somewhat funky. I you know, like this, funk, this funky chord here. Like, I don't know what it is. Uh, I, don't know, I wonder if I can go guitar chord. Guitar chord finder. Um, let's see. All right, here, here we go. Uh, we're gonna have. Okay, there. How do I? I want to work out how to use this. Oh no! I don't want to. I don't want to know how to play the. I don't want to know how to play it. I want to know how to or to identify it. Maybe that might be easier. Okay. Jesus. And how do I get try? It's like kind of the same, but not really. Settings. Um. Yeah, it's like this is not the same thing. B. Yeah, like this, <laughs> like G G sharp sus two sus four. <coughs> I can click the fretboard where our fingers. D sharp and G. Yeah, it's like a it's like a mix between C sharp and G sharp. Yeah. This is the um this is the chord here that I've got. It's literally just literally just four four notes to the chord, and the these two, like, if I could work out a way to just, to, you know, be like, yeah, the strings are muted. Wonderwall, but it's, 
<laughs> Flurf singing about the ice wall. I'm surprised they haven't done anything like that. Yeah, and then it goes to a f another funky. And then it just goes back to power chords. Yeah, starts with the B sharp. I think if I remember this, C sharp five, right? Yeah, C sharp five. So it's like a mix between C sharp. Oh, how do I do the thing? How do I get the strings? E how do I X the strings? Tell me how I X the strings. How do I? Looks like a C, yeah, C, basically it's a C sharp power chord with a G sharp bass. If that makes sense. Oh, and um, the person messaged me back. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, so just four chords and... Oh, my gate was randomly cutting. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that makes sense. It is. Very, very, very simple. Um, stuff. To work, not gonna. No, I'm, I can't get too distracted. Okay, um, this guy needs to be able to actually shoot things. Be naked lady. Wait, is that actually a thing? Oh, okay. That I'm gonna take a listen to that later. I will be taking a listen to that song later. Alrighty, um how do we make this guy shoot? I don't doubt that it's a catchy song. Uh, let's give it a greenish and Okay, so what will happen? This guy will pull out a gun and then just go <laughs> You know? It'll just pull out a gun and go <laughs> Whatever. Um, you hear water running in the background? Also, my camera's a bit too high. You know. Let me see. Uh, let's go cam. Yeah, that's about the height that it should be, I think. There we go. Um, all righty. Uh, all right. Um, 
need another one. Actually, let's duplicate this layer. I bet first layer. Help, I think. Okay. So. Yeah, what was someone saying? Have to have the magnetic flux attached to the dielectric discombobulator. Pesky liquids level and pew pew pew. Yeah. He was not alive. Alright. No, that's on my computer. Oh! <laughs> I might actually see if Ranty's free. Say a hoi hoi first. No, not be like, hoi hoi, want to come on stream? Be like, just a hoi hoi. Because it's, you know, it's you get, like, so lonesome. <laughs> that does sound pretty awesome, though, you know. Uh, let's actually also grab this. Then, and yeah, we'll be able to. Actually, let's create a new layer for um, pop the colors over here. Ahoy hoy the rich noons. How are you doing? Alrighty. Sort of a quest line <laughs> involving having to fix a faulty ring light, uh, ring laser gyro. <laughs> that would be, that would actually be funny. Um. <clears throat> I think we might. This will.
There we go, that looks... Use... Oh, are they using spirit levels as guns? Something like that, maybe. I don't know what Flat Earthers are doing these days. Are they using spirit levels? Not all race. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Just a few pixels. Now we just have to. Yeah. Let's see. That can be the gun. Wait, lay under the roof. I'm like. Yeah, and I'm gonna judge. Oh, no problem, uh, Iris. This gives you an idea of what's to come. But this guy with the gun. Gonna obviously shoot people. Work. Oh. <laughs> Looks kind of weird, like an, amal an amalgamation of flesh. Um, might it be a bad idea to give a. <laughs> I think you mean a flare of an AR 15. Not a filer. Yeah, it would be a give. A, it would be a bad idea to give a flurf an AR-15, just because I don't. Res, I don't trust them with the responsible gun ownership. You know, I feel like that ignore some of the safety things that we need to follow when owning guns. Um, you know, that that would be my opinion. My 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 thoughts. Uh, let's also yeah we're gonna need to merge all this. Essentially. Not really, but different thing. All right. Actually, probably not a good idea to use that color. Alrighty, go back to this layer. <laughs> there would be confusion about aiming straight at the... Uh, we're going to we, we're going to get to that soon. I just need to uh, message someone real quick There we go. All right here.
That looks that looks like an arm, right? That, that's yeah, that's an arm. I think. Yeah, that's an arm. That, yeah, that, that, that's definitely an arm. <laughs> I can tell that's an arm because it looks like an arm. Same way people can tell that, you know, the earth is flat because it looks flat. If it looks like an arm, then it's an arm. Are we all in agreement there that it looks like an arm, so it must be? <sighs> I guess the flat tropian needs a gun to kill any evidence we all just facts. Yes. <laughs> One of the things in Flarefia is that guns are going to... I'm going to try, try and make them somewhat... Are limited in their capacity. In fact, guns will probably be quite underpowered, to be honest. And yeah, guns will be underpowered by themselves. They won't deal a whole lot of damage. Oh, I should put some rings on, because I don't need to worry. I'm not playing guitar, I don't need to worry about. Storm, Storm Mega Style says, well, after I've asked what it was about and you've answered myself 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. oh. This is an arm, but it looks like in Super Chat. <laughs> Thank you, IMD Fox. This is an arm, but it looks like in Super Chat. I'm, I'm not sure what that means. Anyway. Probably go over here and move... Where's this box? Okay. Great guns all in the streets straight across water, water because <laughs> can't bend. Something like that, right? Okay, now we. This will be. Probably have it raise, raise up a bit and then shoot. Thinking, I think it needs a better stance than just <laughs> standing there. Yeah, like we're gonna need a better stance. So first frame is grabbing the gun, second frame is sort of wielding it, third frame will be going into position, so let's get all the frames sorted, um, image, and then every other frame will just be a loop where it <laughs> Broken laser laser sight on it that bends. Uh, that'd be an idea. One hundred and twenty. Okay, let's go. Go grid.
Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's grab this here. Uh, e control P. Control V. And uh, wants us. Okay, this is, I find this really annoying. I don't know if anyone else gets it. Pick a grid and we go sixteen by six. That was sorry. Go back to it. Yeah. Okay. I feel like on the right hand frame could go bottom right. I don't know, I'm not sure. I know this is the wrong thing. I know this is Yeah, that actually works, I think. Kind of. No, not really, because... Cool. Oh, is that better? Kind of looks like it's just... Thanks. We'll, we'll see how things... Play this over. Uh, oh, the yeah, the arm needs shading, definitely. Uh, yeah, if the arm doesn't have shading, you know, we, we we're not gonna. Uh... Yeah, why would I? Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Now with that, we. Get dusty into his dance. Yeah, and I hope this is not uh, CC. Can you imagine if CC had a gun? Dear Lord, help us all. CC ever had a gun? I, I'd be shitting myself. I think a lot of people would be shitting themselves. His wife would be shitting herself if Cece... Can you imagine if Cece had a gun? His wife would be shitting herself. She'd be terrified. If Cece had a gun, I'm sure his wife would have shot him by now. Yeah. Like, and it's not the... His wife would take... Well, it's not so much the fact that, you know, it's not so much the fact, because I'm, I'm sure CC loves his wife, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure they get along well. It's more the fact that his wife would probably be so worried that he's going to misfire the gun and hurt someone that she doesn't want him hurting. Like, either herself, or kids, or even someone else's kids. Okay. Okay, so it comes over by two pictures. 
Tools one, two, there we go. We'll put the over by two pixels as well. Two, there we go. That over the uh, okay, and then we can erase. We can do the coloring in time and all times go ahead. Actually, we should it might be a bit more, more pronounced. All right, there we go. There we go. And we'll bring wait, that was the name. Alt. Oh. There we go. Well, thank you, uh, JPEG. Thanks. The how the game development. How <laughs> my game is uh, coming along, or being produced. Um, do we actually want this? Where is the camera? Oh my, okay. Uh, control. That's the wrong. Ah, oh, there's the gun layer. Okay, control alt. Bring this up a up a bit. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll, what we'll do, oh, this will, um, this will go to this layer. Right. So we will probably just move this up a bit. What I'm going to do, is, and I'm going to take the, this color and we're gonna hold it up there we go and take this color oh we need to also remove this 
Now we can take this color, this layer, we can erase a whole lot of stuff. Okay. Actually, not all, not too much. And then we can go to here. And on this layer, or not this layer, we can erase all this and then be somewhat. Either. Okay, it was like that. All right. <laughs> Instead of trank darts, they are vague starts. <laughs> yeah, we could probably use a couple of vex dart guns, you know. <laughs> okay. That's the preparing to shoot mission. And the, probably just need a few frames where it's actually shooting. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway. All we'll need is. I'll probably. Does it. Okay. Here's something I need to know. Does anybody know how ray casting does. How to do ray casting. <laughs> I don't know how to do ray casting at all. Anybody, if anybody here knows how to do ray casting, greatly appreciated. Actually, this is going in a straight. And I probably won't need to worry too much about ray casting. Probably involves calculus, right? Who here knows advanced calculus? Uh, need like a. I think I can probably just use a collision. One collision. Rich that out as far as it needs to go. Yeah. Let's stretch that out to the system. Fighting with something half its distance, still colliding with something, half its distance again. And then if it's not colliding with something, if there are any points when it's trying to check its distance of No calculus, but not what ray cast. It's not gray casting. It's ray casting. So ray casting is essentially, um, you take a point that the ray is fired from, and you have another point, and then between those two points, you essentially check if there's some collision happening at any point along. It's Probably a more 
one of the more efficient things that you can do. Decisions. <coughs> I know that Unity uh, has inbuilt ray casting, but other game maker don't really have that capacity. So <sighs> it is rather unfortunate. <sighs> I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to go about this. I should probably actually, you know, complete Dusty's sprite uh, first before I think about ray casting. You know, because he's like, he grabs his gun out and gets into a little stance. It's actually fairly warm here. Yesterday I was wearing nothing but wearing Yesterday I was wearing a, not a whole lot. I had to take like off. Not but not just because of ripping. <laughs> Annoying when you get like rips and things. Like, I bought six of these. I thought it was like for six bucks, but was it seven? I think it was seven. I think it was... I'm using Game Maker Studio. Which doesn't have ray casting built in. Oh, just watch Team Skeptic's video and you created three gun wielding flurfs at the same time. Uh, not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, gun. Okay. First rule of gun safety should be never give a gun to a flat earther. <laughs> Well, this isn't like one of the rules of gun safety, never have guns accessible to children. So, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Don't give a gun to a flat earther, don't leave guns out so that children can grab them. You know, it's basically the same thing. Am I, I'm, I think Game Guru may be... Because gun control is a global issue. Mostly in America, but, you know, like... I think what I say applies to everywhere. No. You've got a, um... Friends would be easier to wear if... Um... Maybe. I'm not sure, like... Probably make them a little bit easier to take off. It does get annoying to put on and take off rings. Uh, anyway. Never mind my amusing thoughts. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Talked about guns. Lewis with guns is probably an issue more in America. And I just noticed that my ring. Losing colour. There's a gun. Like an actual like silver ring. rather than it just being painted. <laughs> You're not convinced they're actual flurfs, they're pointing the guns away from their own faces. Um Yeah. That's fair. Could be you know, they could be Suicidal flurfs. Uh, that, that's. <laughs> if, have you ever thought about that, Chris? They might be suicidal flurfs. Oh, okay, yeah. Ha <laughs>
Yeah. Exactly, I'm dear Fox. Okay. Now that we've got something land on my arm, I thought. Because rule six. Maybe it did, but I remember eating more than I did. Say how many cookies does it have been there? I don't think it does. Oh yeah, it does. Is it ever average? It says servings per pack six. Average serving one cookie. Okay. So how de in depth am I gonna go for the flurfs? Is it like a dystopian world, or is there like some different dominant denominations? Like some believe in don't. Um. Yeah. So. In this world, the world will actually be flat, but there will, um, uh, but there will actually be, like, a flat or conspiracy, uh, that the Earth is actually, and the government is actually just hiding it from people. In, in this world, that's, that's going to be. Plain all conspiracy. <laughs> That's what's going to be called a plain all conspiracy. Yep. That's exactly what. That is exactly what I'm calling it, guys. It's going to be a plain all conspiracy. That would be a, a, yeah, a bit of armor that I could have, personal dome armor. Does your flat earth have a model? Technically, yes. Technically, no. All right, the model is somewhat inaccurate. But it works in getting the point across it that it's a flat earth, you know. People have come to think of the earth as a disc. <laughs> How does everyone feel about the word planal? <laughs> There's a reason why I'm going with that word. You love, you love the word planal? Cool. <laughs> Me too. As I said, there's a reason why I'm choosing that word.
Well, that's too different. All right. Back to the drawing board for the color, for the stock. And He's <clears throat> he's David. Um, up the red channel. Need to make it like something. Shouldn't have given. Blue needs to come down. Did. That, that looks nice. Yeah, I, I like that. I actually... There, there we go. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. Okay, something that does get annoying at times. Things that I was just reminded about because someone well, else got annoyed by it. They got shorts. And the pockets weren't real. Who makes fake pockets? Like, just put pockets on, like, if you're gonna put, make it look like it has pockets, actually put pockets on it, you know, everyone needs pockets. Everyone. Everyone needs pockets. Alrighty, um, now with the soul, just give it a little more. Yes. Darker. All right, there we go. Shouldn't have a flat. Technically, yes, but um, this is based off a real person. Boom. How does everyone feel about this? Uh, how does everyone feel about how this is looking? Guy with a gun. 
Yes, a flirt with a gun is terrifying. That's not what I'm asking you. <laughs> also, ask Zumi if she wants to join my stream. Notice he's free, um, or not free, but online. <laughs> Big difference there. All righty. <laughs> Look, <laughs> dodge. Maybe we'll we'll see. I don't have a. S there will probably be eggs that will fall due to density. And then when they get to a certain point, the air will just become too dense, and so they'll float. And they'll reach um, an equal, you know, they'll reach an density equilibrium. Okay. Uh, now, um, I think player. No. I on this because I need more monitors. That's a thing that I need. Way more monitors. I don't have a lot of monitors. Make America. America, like when you think about it, America is relatively flat compared to like Hoi Hoi. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, tired. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Telling everyone that America is rel relatively flat. Um, I, just uh, just from looking at it, you know, if you look at it on a globe, it's still fairly relatively, uh, yeah, relatively, yeah. Uh, I mean, everything is relatively flat, really. <laughs> True. If you're small enough, if you go on a basketball, it would be flat. It would look like it was flat to you. If you're the size of an, uh, say, grain of salt. And if you want a basketball, you claim it was flat. That's fair, yeah. Okay, that's... That, okay, that... have to kill like windows. <laughs> okay, go pick your windows then. <laughs> Apparently I should give the Flurf salt shakers. They could sprinkle salt on the ground and the eggs could float up. <laughs> oh, God. That would be interest, an interesting mechanic. You have to have a fight where Riley says, holds up an egg and says, this is an egg. And he just starts throwing eggs at you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just his attack. He just throws eggs. <laughs> I will have a sort of Humpty Dumpty fight. A fight Humpty Dumpty. Balsier City. Balsier City? Just got knocked off. That sounds like a place where... That sounds like a place where Zeth, Seth Zumi would go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Seth Zumi is out. <laughs> yeah. So let's. 
Yeah, people say they don't like Seth Zumi. <laughs> Suzumi. There we go, Suzumi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we just need to shade everything. Because, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. So how are you doing tonight, uh, Planner? I'm doing well. I'm working on Flurfia. As I, as I said, this month is going to be a lot of me working on Flurfia. Um, I said that before in previous streams. I'm essentially going to... Because I, I want to get this game out, you know, like... Yeah. And it's... Big project. Yeah, I saw, I saw you coming online, but I was playing D&D at the time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know how that is. I mean, just... Not, D&D. You not, don't pass up... <laughs> you don't pass up D&D. Well, I don't really know how it is, as I haven't played a lot of D&D. But... <laughs> oh! You need to, it's fun. It's fun, sweetie. <laughs> Just haven't played a lot, you know, haven't really played any, to be honest. But, uh, you know, we don't say that. Uh, because, you know, you want to be in with a nerd, you know. <laughs> I'm a nerd, but, <laughs> you know. You're a nerd, but you're not that much of a nerd. Well, I was just, the reason why I was saying that I was a nerd is because some people might be concerned about me saying the N-word, you know, nerd. And it's like, you know, i got to give myself that particular N-word pass by saying that, yes, I am a nerd. So, uh, so it's okay. I'm a nerd? Yeah. I mean, I'm developing a game. <laughs> yeah, you're a game developer, essentially. I mean... Can you get any more nerdy yeah. than that? <laughs> Probably a little bit more. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you can be like me and FTFB and, uh, you know, nerd out on um, Green Lantern stuff. <laughs> yeah, that is another po possibility. And I actually found a good model for my um, model. <laughs> Oh nice! Uh, a green lantern, a green lantern mask for my model. <laughs> oh cool! So if I want, I can make her a green lantern. <laughs> I just need to find the green tights that go with it, <laughs> or a proper, you know, green lantern outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh sh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. By the way, what do you think of uh, this? Oh, his toe? Oh, his hand? <laughs> yeah. The, More yeah. of just... The, this animation. I think, that's, I think that's, that's too violent. You should have him holding a walkie-talkie instead. <laughs> no. <laughs> just it, aim the walkie-talkie at <laughs> He's going to be holding a gun. <laughs> Because... Can you say that on YouTube? That that word on YouTube? Yeah. Gun? Can you? Or is that too violent for YouTube? You can say it. I believe you can say it. I've been saying it all all stream. You know. Oh, that's gun, not... gun, 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 gun. <laughs> because even um, what was the name of it? that channel? Um... Their leader mouse or something like that. Um, even they don't say gun, and they're a gun review channel <laughs> or bullet review channel. They review different type of leader. I can't. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, essentially, you know, it's just a pixelated gun, not too violent. Essentially, what I've got is, you know, um, the first. First frame, he pulls his gun out, or well, starts to pull the gun out. Second frame, you know, he's holding the gun. Third frame, he gets into the stance to fire the gun. And then there'll be a probably 
four frame looping animation where the gun's firing. <laughs> Chris Joe Music Channel says, time to go make dinner. Let's see how many more flurfs you can give guns while I'm away. I'm just wondering um, if the flurf is going to chicken out tonight on uh, FFE's um, stream. He's having a hard time finding more flurfs to um, hand their asses to because they're, ch they're all chicken. They don't want to... Yeah, spamming knobhead, e even though... You... It's in your name, still timing you out, if, if it will actually time you out. Here we, here, here we go. Spamming knobhead what? Yeah, there's literally someone that called the spamming knobhead that decided to spam socks. But yeah, socks. it's, it's in their name, but... <laughs> but still it's spam. Yeah. So yeah, just because you're the spamming knobhead doesn't give you a pass on spam. Let that be the let the, let that be a lesson to the rest of you out there. Spam, 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 spam the musical fruit. But uh. spam the what? I don't know. <laughs> Sounded like you said the spam the musical fruit. I did. <laughs> Isn't it more of a meat than a fruit? I don't know. I don't know what's in spam. <laughs> None of us do. Nobody knows what's in spam. I should probably increase the uh, opacity. I'm assuming it's a type of meat. I mean, I'd hope it's a type of meat. Otherwise, that Tell would be false. Mouse. Tell Fleeter Mouse. They do um, really weird bullets, basically. And even they call it a projectile device. Oh, okay. They don't say the word... They never say the word gun because they think um, it's... YouTube would, like, censor them because, you know, using the term gun... Kind of not child friendly for yeah. some reason. I, I can understand. Like can understand a little bit, but you know, I, I'm going to use a gun to describe a gun. You know, if it's a firearm, that like yeah, yeah, like it's a firearm, and it's one that you hold, and it shoots projectiles. Therefore, it is a gun. <laughs> I am from New Zealand, uh, Gary. Yes. Um, yeah. to... See, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you something real quick over Discord. This, this is what I think of when I hear the term you just used. Gun or firearm? That's <laughs> what I think of when you say firearm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put that on screen. That's what I think of when anyone says firearm. <laughs> that's fair. I can't help it. I can't help it. Th that's fair. That's valid. <laughs> I, I sometimes think someone of the same thing. Firearm. <laughs> it's like when I hear someone says um, the right to bear arms, I think of a bear holding a gun. A bear holding arms. <laughs> Or a, a person with um, arms that are like bare arms. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's um... or, or arm bears. We have the right to arm bears. <laughs> Drop an AK-47 to its head. <laughs> that sounds like something that the CIA would do. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or or shoulder mounted AK forty seven on a on a bear. Good. Oh. No, Gary, I'm not from New Zealand. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand, but 
Oh, doesn't matter. Hello, uh, Keystroke. How you are you doing? Me. You didn't turn me. Same with uh, I'm 36. Guess who else is from New Zealand? Ray Culprit? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, I can. On behalf of New Zealand, I apologise to the rest of the world <laughs> for Ray Comfort. <laughs> Sweetie, there's no amount of apologizing for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that's that's something you really you can't. I mean, there, apologize enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, uh, now is it Ken Ham also from New Zealand, or is that he from? No, he's Australia? from Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Kent Hoven, unfortunately, is from Alabama. You, you, you guys have to apologize for Kent Hovind. <laughs> oh, we do. On a, on a daily basis, sweetie. We, we do. Yeah. Ken Ring is from New Zealand, yeah. Um, although he's more of a New Zealand figure than, you know, than an American figure or anything, you know? Like, he's not widely known outside of New Zealand. The, the, re the reason why he get, got famous was because he apparently predicted the Christchurch earthquakes, but didn't actually provide any evidence for predicting it, and said, oh, we're going to have a bigger earthquake on this day, which never happened. So. That was a <laughs> thing that... Oh, why do we reward these people? Yeah, for real. Why do you keep on centering on his crotch? Uh... There is a reason why I keep centering on his... You just keep on, like, just blowing his crotch up. I'm like, um... Am I have to, do I have to worry about something here? <laughs> is something inappropriate about to happen to this man's crotch? <laughs> is something going to see something flopping out on the screen? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to... I'm about to remove his pants. See? Oh god. Just removed his pants. <laughs> don't, 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 I, I, I definitely don't think that's appropriate for YouTube. Don't worry, when his pants are removed, <laughs> it also removes any flesh that's behind it. Basically, technically there's nothing in his pants. It's... Oh, there's nothing in Okay, that, that, and that is true to Clark's then. <laughs> <laughs> there's just nothing there. Hey, Unfortunately, that isn't true, though. Unfortunately, that isn't true. They do have. And they often procreate. And that... That's a set. Yeah. Because that's the only way they can spread their message and indoctrinate people is by procreating. And having more idiots thrown into this world. Hmm. Apparently, uh, Ken Ring was giving a talk at a gifted and talented conference going on about how Māori... Architecture is actually Norse architecture. Also, I've huh? I am going to be yeah. making a video at some point in the future. Maybe even this month. Maybe it will be just a bonus like little video because it's not going to be a long video. It's going to be a video where I'm going to teach you how to pronounce Maori. Maori. Yeah, like people say it Maori, or even worse, Maori. No, that's not Maori. how you pronounce it. It's Maori. M -A Just like Melbourne. Like Melbourne. Yeah, it's, so it's, uh, the, it's M A O R I, right? Yeah, I've heard people pronounce it Maori before, but it's Maori. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I have it enough people that I know in New Zealand and Australia to know it's Maori and, Mel and Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. Like, the way that I'm going to break it down is Ma. Um, or ri, like uh, like you'd break Maori. down a Japanese. It's like it's literally the same pronunciation as uh, Japanese. Oh, okay, that makes so, sense. Yeah, I'll even like have like a thing where I have <laughs> where I put like the Japanese symbols, um, and be like, yeah, God, yeah. I just, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you an avatar. 
um 36 said uh heard a lot of pr- people pronounce it mari as well <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah it's not it's not mari it's not maori it's not maori it's maori 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 yeah i i heard this thing that butchered it even worse recently let's see if i i think i liked the video because it was like a really informative video just Perfect. butchered the pronunciation of things oh by the way uh, i heard a good uh, a good thing recently a, a good quote good thing a good quote. Uh, what was the quote? I'm trying to remember the quote. I didn't send it to you. I sent it to this person here. Yeah. A thousand years from now, there will be no guys and no girls. Just wankers. Sounds great to me. Yeah. 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 From a loner box video that I heard it. But it's also from a different thing. Like, I can't remember this thing, but... Uh, liked video. Eyelashes. What do your eyelashes look like? Okay. Okay. There we go. The step back a lip trap. So it will be after the celestial navigation video. Huh? Um, oh no, no uh, I don't have it in my like videos. Um, why is NZ why is NZ not playing Pacus? What? <laughs> why is NZ? A part of Australia. Yeah, so more than I pronounced Pakiha very terribly. I it's the worst pronunciation of Pakiha that I've ever heard. Like Okay, listen, just listen to this. The European settlers, the Pakeha, and the- The Pakeha! The- <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> by, the, by the way, okay, Boomer from Black Rod, you can come- you're free to join the voice chat if you want. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know I'm 36. <laughs> the Pakeha. No one ever... Pakeha. Pakistan? What? Like, when it comes to Pakiha, it's Pakiha, not Pakeha. No one ever. <coughs> Alrighty, um, let's go to here and do the legs. We, we need to get. So maybe we'll use this one as a reference. <laughs> Do 
good to me. Little. And we can use that as a reference for this. Oh, Okay, uh, we're just gonna go. Phew, okay, cool. That was a light, nightmare situation. What about. What about Lahiana, Lahaina Moon? Hi. I don't know what that is, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Mm. Looks like Lahaina Moon. I'm not sure if it's <laughs> that's the correct pronunciation or not. Taylor Moon. <laughs> Reminds me of one episode of Billy T. Jane, Billy T. James TV show where the Aussie uncle goes fishing and like, behold, the great Tanufa. <laughs> Tanifa. I got it uh, correct. Lahaina Moon. I, oh, Lahaina Noon. Should I say not Moon? didn't work. I don't know what didn't work, but um, anyway, back to working on, working on making this an actual sprite that can be used in game. I think my uncle was a big fan of Billy T. James. Okay, and because Charisma, sorry, um, Jeremy, sorry, <laughs> is um, American, he doesn't doesn't know a lot about New Zealand things. Yeah, I know absolutely nothing about New Zealand things. Yeah. Sorry about um, that, boy. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I made you an avatar. You... Right on. <laughs> What's that? I made you an avatar. Oh, you made me an avatar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. Let me just pose. The poses. Okay, let's... Light background. Everything needs to become darker. Everything needs to become dark. <clears throat> Everything becomes... If you, you can become lighter. Everything else. <laughs> Here for the darkening. The darkening. <laughs> Needs to. Alrighty, let's see what this looks like. I think the hair's a bit too long. That's the shortest long hair they have. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this is the avatar. 
uh, Zoomy made. Yeah, here's a bit too long because my hair is not quite that long yet. I mean, it's getting there. If I were to straighten it, I suppose it would be a bit longer. Hold on, let me bring up the. Hold on, let's bring up the uh, camera. Where is? Go side by side. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we can get a side by side comparison. Um, I'll just brush my hair because that's a thing that I. I can shorten the hair a little bit. What's that? I can shorten the hair just a tiny bit. Let me see. That's yeah. fine. Mostly just the hair. Hmm. Perfect. There it goes. That's perfect. Never mind. I found it. Yes, I found it. I'm gonna put a pose. Although I suppose if you're using a uh, free uh, character creator, you know it probably wouldn't be as in, wouldn't have as many yeah. options as other character creators. Well, this one you can draw your own hair on the model, but it's really tricky and. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, that's fair. Wait until people start using make human for let's go. Let's go. Yeah, make because people will eventually start using something like make human for VTuber avatars. I'm not sure if it's still called make human, but that's what it was back when I used it. But, I'm using uh B Roid Studio. Okay. <clears throat> this is not done yet, <laughs> surprisingly. But yeah. So you just took the pants and put it on another layer? What do you mean? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, that looks a little bit closer to how I look, I think. Uh, yeah, the hair is now a bit too short, but it's like closer to my actual hair uh, length. Can't, I, although I do understand that you can't get it quite exactly right, you know. Yeah, it's either too long or too short. Yeah. There, that's it. That's not, the turtle moves. It's like female playing a lot, like female FDFB. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing about this program. Um, it doesn't do males very ju justice because everything ends up looking female. <laughs> so I came in to find a cartoon character sitting in the middle of the floor. What? They're, they're very quiet. Yeah. I said I came into a stream and found a cartoon character sitting in the middle of the floor on his butt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pretty much. As you do, yeah. All righty. So now what I need to do is I need... Orbit character with a gun. Yep. Well, it's more like technically it's... Like, technically, it's not 8 bit, it's 32 uh, bit. It's 4 bit. Not that really. That looks like 4 bit to me. It looks like. Um, it's 8 bit. Wouldn't even it's be. I like, wouldn't even be 8 bit. Like, even uh, the aesthetic isn't 8 bit uh, because 8 bit would have a lot less colors, technically. Yeah. Well, technically. from my point of view, uh, I think I could pull this off with my Commodore 64. This yeah. Probably could. Character with the gun. Easily. Probably That's could do that with my uh, Commodore. 8-bit means what? 8 colors? Well, eight, uh, no. 8-bit means 64. 64 colors. colors. Okay. Well, actually it would be... Wouldn't it be 200 and... Uh, yeah, 256. Sorry, 256. yeah. 256. Yeah, 256. Yeah, 256. 
Yeah. So, so yeah, it's... I definitely could. I would do this if this is only thirty-two color. Because like I said four bit. This is ex- so. <laughs> The thing, like, a lot of people get wrong about uh, 8-bit and uh, 16-bit is they tend to associate it more with... um, So rather than associating 16-bit with the color spectrum of 16-bit, 8-bit, and the likes of, they actually associate it more with the technological limitations back in the day because when it came to 8-bit games, like... You can you can make eight bit music that sounds nothing like eight bit games, right? Yeah. So if I, what do I have open on Audacity? I have something open in Audacity. What is it? Oh, that was. Um, thing. Let me close that down. And uh, it was. Just... You can actually make some pretty good. Um, you can make some pretty good music with eight bit music. So it's not highly limited. Yeah. Let's. Oh well, I have a uh, I have a six chip Sid, Sid synthesizer. If you know what that means. Sid, yeah, synthesizers. Yeah. Yeah, but Sid synthesizer. Sid. Is it specifically Sid that way. Okay, Sid. Okay, yeah. He uses uh, six Commodore sixty four Sid chips. I was about to say he uses Commodore um, door sixty four stuff. Yeah, it has six of them in there. You I want to see it together in different combinations. <laughs> I watch the 8-bit guy a lot. He's actually a pretty good yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. You do know you can S with the clock frequency to them too, obviously. Yeah. You have, no, you uh... Huh? In fact, uh, the uh, C64 sometimes will do it automatically, depending on how you got the color set up. Yeah. The clock frequency of the processor will change, therefore changing the frequency that the SID chip is running at, so which therefore changes the sound. Yeah. So with six of them going, I can, say, oh. trigger them all at the same time, right? Yeah. But because they're running at different frequencies, I'll get a wash. But you get either triangle, spike, um, cymbal, or there's another sound type. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, different frequencies, patterns, and so on. All sounds that the 64 four. make come out of that chip. And the bass. Yeah, you get the bass as well. Yeah, so, yeah whatever but, sound you've ever heard from uh, Commodore 64 comes out of a SID chip. So, yeah. But the glory of my board is it holds six of them, so I can put them in from different eras. Hmm. I can mix and match. So here is something uh, that is currently in a... You know to give me a hate mail. This is... Um... Well, the photon idea is an I think it's 24 bits. It's understanding the coaxial nature of light, which is a refraction of compression. Right, so that's 24 bit. Now I can turn, I can turn that down to 8 bit. All right, if I just go export as oh, wave um. wave function, that's the one I was thinking about. Wave, yeah. So there's wave, sine, triangle, symbol, yeah. and base. Yeah, the thing is, basically, it's just a waveform generator is all it really is. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. If, I, if I turn that down to um, other uncom. Oh, here we go. So I can turn this down to unsigned 8-bit DCM, right? So yeah, the header will be... They can actually pack a lot of information on those cartridges that they had back in the day. Yeah, so if I go 8-bit... So this is... And then I'll play it. All right, and... And you'll hear that it's not actually all that different to if I were to just play it in here, right? You got to remember too, you're getting your audio from a modern device, so yeah. it's not going to be the same as playing a SID chip. You know what I mean? Yeah, they are different. The topology will be different no matter how you look at it. Well, yeah. although I guess rumors that they now got a pretty convincing zit chip out there and if i can get my chance i'm gonna snag one of them and try it and see how convincing it really is yeah so if i go to uh uh where is it here we go counter space so 8-bit yeah. so 
So this is what it sounds like in 8 bit when, when it finally actually loads. Um, when it finally actually loads, yeah. Because right now all we hear is the sound of silence. Yeah, let me. <laughs> that's a pretty good. The... That's a pretty good song. You know who that's by? The sound of silence. Yeah. Okay. Close down the that thing and then I reopened it. So maybe that will work. Still got to wait for it to load. Yeah. Are you running a Commodore sixty four by any chance, just by the load time? No. <laughs> Commodore sixty fours are time. fun to program with. Oh, they're fun. I got more than one. I'm running a Windows computer, which, you know, given that it's trying to open up a Windows program, yeah. So it's got to load up all the different things that it wants to send off to Microsoft. 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 Great. <laughs> this is Blast Monster, right? Huh? Yeah. There we go. Uh. <laughs> well, the photon idea is an abstraction from misunderstanding the coaxial nature of light, which is a refraction of impression along the dielectric. Like tiny difference in the um, you can tell tiny difference in the triangle and a little bit in the wave. Yeah. But other than that, it sounds approximately the same. Yeah, and the reason being is because 8-bit, what we typically think of when it comes to 8-bit is we typically think more of uh, the uh, the style that was produced by the limitations back in the day. And the style that was, the reason why we had those limitations, we had limitations on storage. Uh, so cartridges... That was, main, that was the main concern. Yeah. So that was the main concern with storage. Cartridges couldn't hold like a full on uh, song, you know. They didn't That's even why, hold um, the audio for the game either. There was no audio on a cartridge. It was literally commands to yeah. for the SID chip to put out its. Exactly. So if I took and put that out from a machine with a completely different SID chip, that game would sound absolutely different. There'd be no comparison. Yeah. Like if I ported my He's playing, also, and I played that on my Commodore 64. Then I played it on my uh, TRS-80. It'd be totally different. Yeah. Sometimes I but think they would in run on the TRS. Sometimes I think they would include a bit of audio themselves, but they wouldn't. It wouldn't be like a large file. It would just be a really small file, which would probably have to be decompressed. Like, it would probably have a whole lot of compression on it as well. Basically, what they're doing is it's a little bit banging file. Yeah. Basically, very very. That's why Usually in um older eight bit games, it would be like an eight to ten second loop, the in order to stay storage. Yeah. But games like say Super Mario World, it was I believe a fourteen second to sixteen second loop song. Hmm. And so, when it and when it came to graphics, like uh, the Commodore sixty four, its graphics were limited by the simple fact that it didn't have a whole lot of memory for uh to use for 64 video 64 kilobits 64 kilobits the cartridge did most of the grunt mm. so when you don't have a lot of uh <laughs> when you don't have a lot of uh ram for and when i talk about memory i'm talking about ram ram here when you don't have a lot of ram to use for video you do have to use tricks in order to uh not use all your memory you know so yeah. some ways that it did it is by essentially dividing the screen up into tiles, let's let's say, and each tile could have a certain number of colors, and uh, you know, would just color in each of, you know. Yeah. So if you have four that colors, that's exactly what they did. Yeah. So if you watch very carefully, like if you look at his arms, it generally any one area has only a very few numbers of colors, such as four colors. Yeah. So that's some how the tile would be set. And when they use that, they now have got a two-bit tile instead of an eight-bit tile. Mm. You can store multiple two-bit tiles in yeah. the same amount of space you could one eight-bit tile. So yeah. it's cheaper on the memory. That's why they did it, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't because... And nowadays, uh, we don't care. We got terabytes. 
<laughs> yeah, it wasn't because like a lot of people um, do have this kind of thing that it's because of um, you know because I've seen videos on how to make eight bit music and it's just like and it's just like yeah save it as eight bit it's like no that's not the way that no. <laughs> no, and now they've removed the dislikes no. in order to. <laughs> Uh, so I can't be like, yeah, we need to just dislike this video, <laughs> video to show that it's wrong, you know. Uh, but yeah, why did, I, I'm still pissed off that they removed the dislike button because the uh, button is there, you just can't uh, see the damn counter, and that's what I don't like. Yeah. So YouTube, fix that. Yeah. yeah YouTube. <laughs> I, I don't think the they're... only reason they did it was because um, they're. YouTube Rewind video of the previous year got so many, because it was the most disliked video on YouTube. I want I want my dislike counter back up for everybody to see my dislike counter. I want them to yeah. see who, how many don't like my video, the exact number. Like Cause on, the, on the creator dashboard, you can see how many dislikes you have. You can. That and, sucks, because now you gotta go here, you gotta go here, you go click this menu, scroll down here, click this. Oh, there it is, finally. But, 14 pages in. It's not just... But oh, reason, the reason I want to see the dislike button... The reason yeah. I want to see the dislike button is so I can judge it to see if it's a good video or not. If it yeah, has if a lot of dislikes... Yeah, if I want to see how shitty, uh, you know, freaking Planer Walks videos mm. are, I just have to look at the, the counter and yeah. say, oh, it's a really shitty video. Yeah. Well, sorry, yeah. not not 2021, uh, 2019's uh, YouTube Rewind. The one with Will Smith in it. Yeah. Because and... that one, they didn't even have any creators in it, really. And if it did, it was just people nobody knew. And it's like, uh... <laughs> like, what happened to, like, Markiplier and PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and... Yeah. You know, the actual YouTubers, everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it's supposed, to, YouTube Rewind is supposed to be about celebrating the creators, not being a corporate cash grab. Exactly. And getting Will Smith on, I love Will Smith as a person. He's an awesome actor. He's not a YouTuber. Hmm. Exactly. He probably doesn't even know what YouTube. He probably doesn't even watch YouTube. I mean, he is a, technically he is a YouTuber, but he's. N more of a celebrity YouTuber than a actual YouTuber, yeah. if you know what I mean. Do you remember yeah. T series versus T jump or uh, T series versus? Sorry. Uh, we can't even hear you, sweetie. Hardly. It's because I'm running that. I got the stream open, right? But do you remember T T series versus PewDiePie? Yep. Yeah. What do you think? Of your... What did you think of that one? What did you think of that situation? That was... Uh, like, it a started... court multinational. Yeah, it started out as a meme, but then there were a few people that did ruin it, honestly. Yeah, basically, uh... yeah. Yeah. He actually put out a couple fun music videos during that. Yeah. Still, I mean, we have certain... The only problems. reason I stopped doing his damn channels because, you know, I'd rather at least be a human rather than a bl bloody corporation. That's the only reason I stopped doing his channel. But see, we That's the only the reason. Uh, hmm. With copyright strikes and copyright claims, you know, fraudulent yeah. ones. Yeah. But they're not doing right. anything about But no, let's remove the dislike button because that's what everyone's complaining about. Everyone complains about the dislike button. Nobody's yeah. complaining about the button. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> I hope it goes over like a lead balloon. See, they had it right to begin with. If if you want to disable the dislike button, you can. But you shouldn't have to do it by default. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Or at least let people enable it. Yeah. Because I could tell tell whether or not it's going to be a shitty video by looking at the dislike to like ratio and if I see the person has their dislike button disabled I can kind of tell it's going to be a shitty video because usually the only people that do that are people who get dislike 
you know, a lot because of their shitty videos. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So that's it. Put it the fuck back away it was, YouTube. Yeah. Let us give our own button choices. Yeah, give us our if own If they want to be wimpy enough to... Uh, oh, he disliked my video. Oh, it's terrible. Mm. Make a better video. Like, but if they don't <laughs> want their dislikes viewed, they can hide them themselves. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, I just... already gave us that option. I just noticed a comment on my on my video. It's the comment says no evidence for a dome sea operation fishbowl. Let's do a little bit of Operation Fishbowl was a test series of high altitude nuclear tests in 1962 that were carried out. But so it's just nuclear tests. How does that prove a dome? Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. <laughs> you gotta remember, they look at conspiracy theories and everything, and then equate something to something it is not. Like, Aries Failure, for instance. I heard a flat earther saying Aries Failure was about disproving gravity, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> what? Uh. And, th and that Aries failure disproved gravity. I'm like, no, it didn't. It disproved the ether. The lumen never. Lumen ne lumen ne <laughs> I can talk. <laughs> I can word properly. Disproved the ether. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. They saw that the sun wasn't shining through the luminescent ether. ether. Cause I can't talk today. <laughs> Probably didn't help out me trying to tongue twist you. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> Leave me the mother of me. <laughs> Luminiferous. Luminiferous? Yeah. Is that the word you look for? Luminiferous. 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 There we go. Luminiferous. Yeah, Luminiferous. Come on. Luminiferous. 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 You say it. Luminiferous. Luminiferous. Come on. Come on there, uh... Nick, planner, planner. Hmm? Planner walk. Luminiferous. Okay. <laughs> Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers. Say that really Peter fast, twice. Two packs of pe 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 peppers. Wolfie? See, I did it oh, right. Um... Second. Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers really fast, two or three times he in a row. He stood on the balcony, inexplicably, inexplicably mimicking him hiccuping, then amicably welcoming him in. Peter's peeker picked another pickle-bearing pussy pepper. <laughs> <laughs> he stood on the balcony. I know you did that on purpose. <laughs> then amicably welcoming him in. That one's harder than that one's even harder than. Try that. exactly like I said it though several times. Well, do you know the? Peter picked a pick of do you know the thing that I'm uh, talking about? Let's see. No. Peppers, what? Peter's. The, when I say Peter's picker picked another pickle bearing pussy pepper. <laughs> yeah, I know Not again. <laughs> does, does it? Does anyone in chat know what I'm talking about when I say that? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I forgot to say another another thing, you know. If you want to see how many dislikes the video has, there's a browser plugin. You can... <laughs> yeah, then you have to get a plugin which might compromise your system. I don't want to do that. I've already got enough plugins. I don't want to add more plugins to disable a feature that shouldn't be there in the first fucking place. Bingo. Mm. Oh, we'll fix the patch with another patch, with a patch on top of a patch, patched by another patch, and patched into yeah, this patch, patch back patch through that patch, patch, patched over this way, and whoops. Yeah. To be fair, that Why did it explode? To be fair, that is audio production. <laughs> You've got to patch everything to from one place to another. Oh, you'd love my you'd love my center soundboard, then, wouldn't you? 
explain <laughs> or walk. Not only is it analog, not only is it analog, it is 32 channels and 32 outputs. So, Ion, this is, this game engine is... Do you follow what I just did? You follow what I built? Kind of. I, I just want to... 32 respond. channel, 32 output. Yeah, I, I can patch I'm any of the 32 inputs to any of the 32 outputs, therefore I can yeah, I'm just put gonna... things where I want them. I'm just going to respond to Ion, who asked, what game engine is this? And this is Game Maker Studio 2. Um, it's a fairly useful... Oh, I, I'm, I've, I like the engine. Other people may not. I like, I like RPG engine better, personally. Uh, I have my RPG issue... Maker. Uh, one of the issues that I have with RPG Maker <laughs> is that every game made with it... Not every game, but most games made with it just look the same. True, they do. That's actually true and they mostly do sadly i mean it's a good engine though. i mean it's it's a bare bones engine that lets you do what you want to do hmm. but but it doesn't really allow for cutscenes except for still images yeah which kind of sucks <laughs> whereas in like if i just uh, hit play on this game like, does RPG Maker allow for platforming? You know, can you have platformers? Um, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Okay. As long as you know how to program it properly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because game, game Maker, it's easy to create platform. Like, that, that's actually the easiest type of game to create. Uh, when yeah. it now, if I go continue... Uh, so, you know, I'll platform, you know... And, comes up. Uh, uh, I should actually probably use my controller to play. Does it allow for 3D? Welcome to 3Ality. How may we help you? Oh, RPG Maker? Yes, it, it has mode 7, which can be used to mimic 3D. Okay. Because this um, game maker does actually have a th technically game maker is a 3D engine, technically. Okay. Um, in the same way that Unity is a 3D engine, and when it uses goes to 2D, it just uses tricks to make it. So. Um, look well, all games are all games are in 2D. Um, the 3D is merely an illusion. In a way. Technically, all but, modern games are in 3D, but the two, the no. two, it uses like orthographic views to make it look as though it's uh, 2D. Three dimensional, yeah. Oh, you got it backwards. All the games are written in 2D, but they use orthographical engines to make it seem like it's in 3D. But you're actually oh, the, playing on one layer. Oh, well, use uh, perspective engines to make it look as though it's in yeah. 3D. <laughs> Not orthographic. Sorry, orthographic is. <laughs> Uh, so the, technically, yeah, um, perspective. Sorry, yeah, use perspective. Yeah. What? So technically, what happens when it comes to um, when it comes to computer graphics, or at least three D graphics? And I'm gonna say, let's just uh, check if uh, okay, profile servers. Okay, this person. Do something. Channel. I'm just sitting here looking at my YouTube feed and laughing. <laughs> about the. Um, about... Wait, I noticed. I noticed something. There's a new uh, Shingler's cat video you gotta watch. Planner. I just noticed something about that. Um, that image you're showing. On a flat plane, um, that horizon edge would not be possible. Of course not. <laughs> if, if the world was flat, you would not be seeing that horizon. The land would just keep on going on and on and on. <laughs> True. But not You'd also see clouds somewhere in the sky. <laughs> yeah, tr well, no, sometimes you don't see clouds in the sky. There, sometimes there's no clouds, so... Well, it could just in a, be a bright a sunny day. If this was a flat, if this was a flat plane, eventually you'd oh, see yeah. clouds near the horizon. You, you know, yeah, you would. True, you would start seeing clouds near the um land, 
actually. <laughs> it would look like fog, but it would be clouds on the land. Because hmm. they'd be free clouds on the land. Free man on the land. Never mind. <laughs> I was going for a sausage joke that failed miserably. Ah, okay. Why? Um... A free man on the land? <laughs> I'm a free man on the land. I'm not I'm not a corporation. And Nerthen says, and saying that a lot of Unity Engine games also look very similar. Yeah, that's true. Oh, s Planar Walk. Why have I not got the Globe Earther and verified roles, at least? I don't know why you don't have the uh, Globe Earther roles. Maybe you haven't given yourself the Globe Earth of Rolls. Oh. But yeah. I just noticed. Yeah. No rolls. Oh, let's hear oh, Ranty. Hoi hey, hoi, hey, Ranty. Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Going good yourself? Well, holy shit. This is incredible. We've actually got four people in here. Yeah. What are you playing? Which game is this? Oh, this is Flurfia. If I, I don't know. If I reload it, right. you'll um you'll see what I mean. <laughs> I could have probably just exited to the menu, but like I I tend to reload most. Is uh this something that you've made? Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> does it end will with play, a flat? Well, play on a Vic twenty or Commodore sixty four. That's the question. No. <laughs> It is. Oh, no. It'd be impossible. It'd be impossible to get this detail on uh, something like that. So if I yeah, yeah. To, just the menu screen itself would be too hard for the Commodore sixty four. Or we gotta find a way to get a very crude version of this on the Commodore sixty four. <laughs> get in contact with the eight bit give guy. It, yeah, give it. Get in contact with the eight bit guy, and he can do it. He can put this on the Commodore sixty four. Yeah. <laughs> It, it might not be this detail, but it would surprise you what could be done. Yeah, it would show you what could be done, at least. It'd be approaching Super Mario 1 type graphics, almost. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, oh, look at the horizon rising to our level at all times. <laughs> <laughs> that is... See, I was so, saying, that would not be possible on a flat Earth, because you would just keep on seeing land up to the sky. I, I <laughs> do like how rain... That's what I like. Yeah. I, I do like how Ranty noticed that because I actually used a little trick to be able to get that to happen. So the camera is actually somewhat angled down. And it's angled so that it's always pointing at the horizon. No matter how high you go, the camera will always point at the horizon. Uh, the center so of the camera will. So it's always high level. So yeah. it's always high level then. Yeah. It's oh, a little. Okay. That's, that's like a cool idea. That's a little yeah. trick that I implemented to make sure that it's always rising to eye level. Yeah. Uh, so it will <laughs> that must always... take a little bit of uh, does take a little bit of thinking to come up with that because that, I never yeah. realized what you're talking about. But yeah, I see it. Yes, but yeah. I mean, I see it now. I never thought about what you did to make it do that. Yeah, I always. Um, I... So basically, it always stays in the center of the screen. What it's the next fuck was to realize that? that. What? So it took an it took an X flurf to to notice that. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I notice it then? Is there any uh fall damage in this game? Yes. Oh, you didn't hear what I just admitted to, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, but you, but you used, used to be an X flurf. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the. Not used to be an X flurf. Still presently am. Used to be would mean return to. True. Uh -huh. So careful how you say that. <laughs> so there is full. So you damage. can't be a true flat earther then. You can't be a true flat earther if you never realise that immediately. Yeah. So yeah, there is full damage as you can see there. Okay. How, far, what, how, how much damage do you get if it turns into a globe? <laughs> 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 Does Probably the head then? explode? <laughs> Probably something like that, yeah. If I go down. Also, if I go down here, uh, I've implemented a new way that things can appear. So as you. So. But your characters kind of would fit in with the 8 bit world. Your little character there. 
know what I mean? This stuff is at home in the old 8-bit. I took a bit of an or the, or the regular Nintendo NES. Hmm. So you know, here, like Zelda. I took a bit of inspiration from Final Fantasy VII. So at times during Final Fantasy VII, there'll be like a voice in your head sort of thing that uh, comes up. And so I decided to make something similar for this, where the screen will darken and a sort of voice in your head will say something. But yeah. Now we're in a... That's the Mako, that's the Mako Energy talking to you? <laughs> something like that. So yeah, get the nest part. What's the elevation um, of the of the pond from one side to the other? <laughs> 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 Maybe that could be a thing that because okay, so what I'll do is I'll go. Boy, the surface. Maybe you should have an we'll elevation see, thing. We'll one guy, we'll you see one guy on the side of the pond holding up a big cardboard box with a hole in it, and another guy on the other side holding a laser. <laughs> Yeah, you should just have guys with lasers all over the lake, you know, shining yeah. lasers at each other. <laughs> yeah, and then just has interesting. I might make it, so you know, and then he can go. Up, well, then he can go up to them. and He can talk to them, and he can say, "Hi, are you a flurf?" Yes, I'm a flurf. <laughs> <laughs> I might make it so that you can buy, like, at a store, you can buy lasers, <laughs> and you can ah, but some of the laser guys won't 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 be normal lasers. Some of them will be rifle scope lasers, <laughs> where it's the glow birthers. The glow birthers are there trying to target the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, here's a here's a funny thing that you can do, right? So uh, this and this particular thing here is only actually meant to be for before you uh, become a flat earther, right? So okay. Currently, I've just I've actually got to remove it so that when you become a flat earther, you don't. You know. But anyway, so this person says, "Hey man, do you want to hear about the inter interesting stuff I've learned in my research?" And do we? Yeah, go on then. Why not? Yeah, go on. Oh, well, okay, cool. Do you want to hear about lizard people or flat Earth? Flat Earth. Uh, flat Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Okay. Yeah, go on then. I would have said lizard people, but. You know. Did you know that the Earth is flat? Everyone knows that there are lizard people. I mean... <laughs> no. Well, it is, lizard and Nasha people. is lying to everybody. People. <laughs> crab people, crab people look like crab, but they're people. <laughs> Nash says that is ridiculous. Dusty says, All right, looks, looks like I'm going to have... Oh. All right, looks up, looks... I'm, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to modify that because um that's not meant to be what it says um but it's meant to say all right looks like i'm gonna have to sm flat smack you with logic or with some logic <laughs> all right, so... <laughs> you know what i get that don't you so ranty we have to yes. debate this person on Flat Earth, so what are you going to do? Uh, what do I need to choose? Um, yeah. you can... So I need to debate. Yeah. So if you... I want to insult them... <laughs> so, right, go on then, go by, on. by the way, um, if you want to see what something does, uh, I can hover over it and it says it in the middle of the screen. Right, okay, so go for evidence first. Like evidence would be so you want to go with evidence? Yeah. Everyone goes with evidence, but yeah, fine. <laughs> All of the evidence shows that you're wrong. Say that evidence dis disagrees with me, but what is that evidence? Evidence. <laughs> go for evidence again. Can you go for that, or do you have to stick? Oh, do you, have you, to you choose nothing. You can, but uh, you know, like <laughs> it's just like saying the just like Nathan Oakley's debates thing. It's the same repeated episode every single day. <laughs> so are you going to go with evidence? <laughs> yeah, let's let's hear him say it again. Cool. <laughs> all of the evidence. Yeah, all of it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Nathan Oakley. That's Nathan Oakley, all right, isn't it? <laughs> all right, so what are we... Right, okay. So at this point, I'm going to insult them, right? <laughs> You're incapable of understanding 1 plus 1 equals 2. You're a complete knob. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to just give up at this point. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yes, let's give up. Concede. You should have a dumpster fire option on there too. Just... <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna. I have a person in chat, and I'll actually give this person. Yeah. Get you some uh, emojis off my server. That would be perfect for uh, dumpster fire and stuff. Yeah, um... No, flat earth emojis. Yeah, I'm actually going to... I need, I to, I need to go to my settings, uh, go to... Community and add this word to the, uh, people can't say. Huh. <laughs> Good luck with that, they'll just come up with new ones, new variations on how to say it. Oh, they do, but what it you need it to? prevents people... What I do? What I do is I put it in subscriber only mode because bots can't subscribe. I mean, technically they could. I, I think I've seen chats in subscriber only mode where they've realized, oh yeah, a subscriber only mode, so we'll just get this, uh, we'll just subscribe and then, you know. Well, then, sweetie, you'll have more subscribers, even if you don't want them to be subscribed because they rarely go back and unsubscribe. Yeah, so you just. I don't want deep uh, subscribers. Are you, are you having a problem over there? Should I go open <laughs> up and uh, watch the chat? You know, I have got the mod wrench. I've also again, we can't hear you. I've also given um, Flirspective the mod wrench. Oh, sweet. But yeah, um, so yeah, in this game you can debate people on the shape of the Earth, and you can go on a journey to find the Earth is flat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, it looks very flat anyway. Very 2D. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the Earth does look very 2D in this. It's very flat in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, and this is also... Oh, is that... Hmm? So go on. This is the abandoned area. Abandoned? Yeah. Abandoned. Yeah, abandoned area. Okay. Abandoned. <laughs> ah, can you go in the they... houses or are they just for show they're just for show at the moment there's one, there's one house that oh. you can go in uh, which is uh, all the way all the way up here <laughs> yeah. this is like Tartaria isn't it where they reckon that uh, all the population died and they just had their loads of empty houses ready for people to just walk in in the 17 and 1800s right after the mud floods. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Could actually somewhat put that, like, make that something to do with lore. Anyway, when I talk to... This is a person that you might, might recognise. Can't talk now, busy opening tabs. Recognise him? Opening tabs. Oh, oh who it looks time. like. Yeah. Who it looks like. Um, oh, MC Toon, is it? Yeah. It is MC Toon. Yeah, yeah it is okay. MC Toon. <laughs> I'm glad okay, that so. people recognise that it looks like MC Toon. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have failed on. <laughs> <laughs> on the, uh, you know, the, the aspect of making the character actually look like the person that they're based on. Yeah, there's this one house here that you can go inside of. Okay. This is the. That room. doesn't look like a. That doesn't look like a Flurf's home. A Flurf's home is much more dirty than that. <laughs> Clothes all over the floor. You know. Is that plates how... left piled up? Plates left piled up, unwashed. Is that how your house looked when you were a Flurf? 
Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it was. I actually know a flirt uh, that I actually know where they live, and I've been there. Their house is a Mac. <laughs> I'm guessing. I can't hear you. I'm guessing um, when it comes to the home life, not necessarily matching. You know, their... We can tell you're talking, but we can't hear what you're saying. You sound like you're like a meter away from your microphone. I have to turn off the stream every time I want to talk. Okay. I said that uh, I was watching him do his game there. I, I'm a uh, freak. I made my brain crash like an old first brain. I said, I know a flurf, and his house is immaculate. Like, I actually know him personally. And his house is immaculate all the time. Okay. And he's a Lego collector. But, um... It's clear you've never seen, you've never seen Anthony Riley's house, then? Oh. No, I didn't how, say his name was Anthony how Riley. How many, um, Ranty, how many bottles of lemonade does An Anthony Riley keep under his desk? Um, I don't uh, know are you sure that's lemonade? lemonade? I don't know if it was lemonade or not, but there was a few bottles there. <laughs> really? Hey, imagine yes, really. you're I mean, imagine it, it, you're ranty. Hey, imagine you're ranty. You got these bottles sitting there, hidden, right? And some of them are supposed to be lemonade. And you uh, reach in for a bottle. It seems particularly warm. You don't think anything of it, and you pull that bottle out and take a swig. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Think of it. <laughs> no, don't. No, God, four twenty. Don't, don't do that to us. I am going to um, make everyone dry reach. Uh, oh, dry reach soon. Uh, after I just add this thing. Add this word to the not allowed to use words. What word is that? I think it was like oh. void or something. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you cry, cry rich. Uh, by that would take something. That would take something. By switching to the camera and. Oh, that's what boy.fyi is. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't do anything for me, though, because... Yeah. <laughs> that's too clear. Too clear? Yeah. Probably Where fizzes up too much as well. View? Yeah. Where is this camera view? On, uh, on the actual stream. So, I mean, yeah, it is. It is a bit too clear. Um, but you know, get some Mountain Dew and yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mountain Dew would, yeah. Or um, what you could do: take some yellow food coloring, add it to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I could be like allegedly Dave. Yeah. Well, Riley, like or you could just it. simply get yourself some friggin' apple juice. Well, yeah, Riley yeah. was um, hanging out with allegedly Dave because um, he, he offered he offered us to uh, you know to drink his urine, and Riley went off with him. So I have no <laughs> idea if he tasted his or not, but for sure that happened. <laughs> and because he was under the he was under the influence with uh, Patricia Steer, you see, really really liked Patricia. So, um, you know, when she was yeah. saying that you need to drink your urine and stuff, you know, Riley was all into that. He was bang into it. I mean, <laughs> when she came over, I'm sure we drank hers as well. Couldn't get enough I mean, of the water, stuff. Water sports is one thing, but that... Uh... Yeah, like... I, I, I couldn't... Well, it, it's a commodity among flurfs. You know, I mean, if, if you can get some urine from one of the more popular flurfs, you know, it's... Uh, it's a good thing, right? Uh, no, it's it's never a good thing. No, <laughs> that bit especially is. whenever it's... he pulled that canister. Hey, you can always of... sweeten it up with a little touch of sugar. When he pulled yeah, out I mean... that bottle of black stuff from his fridge, it's like, oh yeah, this is a year old. It's fermented. 
I'm like, oh, no, no, it's got all kinds of bacteria in it, no. Imagine Oakley's, though. Imagine how many he's drank of that. Oh, <laughs> well, see, it sounds even well, worse. See, <laughs> what piss is basically all the bad stuff that's getting out of your body, so you're just putting all the bad stuff that you just expelled from your body back into your body. Oh, by well, the way, have you seen how Flat Earth has regressed in the past two years? You must have seen that, right? Yeah. So obviously, the 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 re the, the the retaking in all that badness, and they're not flushing it out, so they're keeping. Yeah. They're getting dumber by the by the week. And it's funny because they'll use the same exact arguments that's already been debunked. Like Black Swan, for instance. We've debunked that a million times. Yeah, and I still yet use they it. Keep on saying, oh, this is new stuff. This is this is brand new. It's never been debunked before. It's the same goddamn thing. <laughs> well I'd be interested to know if, if God uh God four twenty here, if he if he drinks his your own. Yeah, I guess not. No answer. No answer. So I guess he does. <laughs> Maybe he does. <laughs> I, I do have a question for you, uh, though, uh, Ranty. The, uh, yes, go ahead. The question is: when it comes to uh, when it, when it comes to and no Nathan Oakley in particular, I want to know because I got asked this question: does he smell? Uh, and by the way, why would a person uh, bring toxins back into their body that after getting rid of them? You know what I mean? Gotta get rid of that mercury somehow. So why would I bring it right back in? Yeah. Well, well I, mean, I only. But yeah. See, I only yeah. ever met met Nathan Oakley one time, um, in 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 person. Although we spent thousands of hours probably talking to each other offline with with our cameras on you know talking to each other so i got to you know see him for three four five hours at a time in his natural environment doing whatever he was doing so um if i was to say would i would i think he smelled well the amount of cannabis he smoked absolutely you know i mean if, oh, he, if he didn't if he didn't smell of of cannabis and and uh tobacco uh then there'd be something wrong so <laughs> so yeah, probably, probably, but um, I couldn't say for sure because the one time I met him, I didn't get that close to him to sniff him. <laughs> you know, it wasn't I, the first I, thing I, on my mind, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sniff uh, hey, anyone. <laughs> the cannabis side wouldn't say nothing about. It was the other thing that they were talking about: the yeah. body odor, which is layered upon body odor, layered upon body odor. Well, I can't say for sure because I never smelt it, but I know that Sleeping Warrior did. Oh, okay. Really bad. I would imagine, really... I would imagine him and Danny Pratt probably don't smell very great. Mm. Maybe like the no, first... Riley. Riley did stink badly. Maybe the thing that like flat earthers need to focus on first is like um, their own hygiene. hygiene. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, what does everyone think of this animation? Well, his arms are, um, if you actually took the animation from where his arms are out on the gun, it looked like his arms are longer than his legs. Is it, is it written house? No, it's not. <laughs> well, um, FTFB is starting, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to leave. All right, take your Renty. I mean, not Renty. Uh, <laughs> wow. Take your uh, Zoomy. All right, y'all take care now. Bye. Right, Have it. fun. Yeah, you and the eight bit guy should do a collab on that little game. Okay, so are you going to actually release this as a game? Yeah. Right. Okay. So there's plenty of work still to do on it, obviously. But oh, yeah, definitely. you know, yeah. Um, yeah. I hope it ends up where. At the end of the game, they can never win it being flat. It always ends up being a globe. They always fall and down. Whatever road well, they go down. That's probably the game. Well, 
here's yeah. the here's the thing. I have I have already have the end of the game planned out. Uh, so uh, so currently the end of the game is is planned out. Um, and it's probably going to be a multi. Uh, well, you should tell us. Yeah, it's probably going to be a multi. Yeah, don't tell us. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, gonna, don't tell us. Don't not gonna tell. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. It's probably going to be a multi-series yeah. uh, game, from what I've planned on the ending. But I'm I'm going to try and wrap the ending up nice so that there's no real loose ends. Please, please make it so they can get in a boat and go sailing on on the on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> and see the land come into view. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What I was thinking. I meant is... to say, hmm? why is why can't we see why can't we see the land we're looking for? And then someone says, "That's the diffraction limit." <laughs> <laughs> I, I That's might the limited angle. <laughs> I might make it so that there is like that kind of thing. Um, you do that. You go sailing at some point, right? Uh, to get to an area. Because there will be an area... I am thinking of making one area where you can teleport from one place to another. And when you go to this place, you know... You can... Ba it'll basically be like a hub area where you can teleport from one area to another. Um, and that might... You know, just so that you're not travelling across the you're entire gonna... map to get from one area to another. You're gonna teleport instead of teleport? You're gonna teleport instead? Okay. You can teleport. I like the idea of uh, of this game. It should be good. Yeah. I've been working Especially on... if you subscribe if you subscribe to the multi worlds theory, then you have to buy buy the upgraded edition with extra land to go and find. <laughs> that could be like yeah, that could be like some DLC, extra land to <laughs> go and find. That's it, and you can pay if you pay for more. You can purchase, you know, the expanding map, and of course, the players will love that because they want to see how big the map is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially, um, one like one of the big. Uh, Things with this game, you'd is... have to go and find the giants as well. You have to go and find the giants, right? You'll have to go and find the elves, the um, the short people, uh, the giant trees. You're gonna have to go and find them. Uh, so there's gonna have to be all these different lands with different things on the Tartarians. They'll have fucked off somewhere, so you're gonna have to go and find them. Uh, they'll be living in a different continent, right? So apparently they're very advanced civilization. So you're definitely gonna have to go and hunt those guys down. Yeah, it could be a great game. Yeah, one of the, oh, I'll sh do you want me to show you some of the music that I've uh, recently? So this has been sort of a joint effort for this uh, tune. If you, if you want me to show you some music, do you? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, this tune here has been a joint effort. Let me find it. Uh, basically, joint effort between multiple people. Heaps of people are, like, I'm going to hit, like, for this particular song, there's, like, I think about four different people uh, that I'd need to list on the credits. Because <laughs> there's one person that made it, one person that, uh, t uh, basically, t there's one person that made the original song, one person that uh, basically uh, transcribed that to musical notation and, or to MIDI, right? Then there was me who played around with it a bit to get the basic layout. And there's another person who's um, adding more to it. So, this is the song. Is there any more volume to it? It's a little bit quiet at the moment.
It does need some uh, mixing changes to it. It sounds very flirtish. That's fair. It's a boss. It's for a boss fight. This one. But who's the boss? Have you got conspiracy cats there as a boss? <laughs> he will be a boss eventually. Oh, cool! You have to fight conspiracy cats. <laughs> I'm skeptic. I can't believe you'd be saying it would sound a little flat. Hope your guy puts out a MIDI file for it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, I'll probably just retrieve the MIDI file off him. The... Yeah, because if you get a MIDI file, I can play it on my 64s and stuff. So that's basically the. It has a. It just loops uh, the. Uh, yeah. Rest of the yeah. But it's yeah. A, oh, I like that. Uh, I, there's a, still a few things to improve upon. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the next thing I need to do is I need to go file. Open, and we're gonna open. Just the attack grip. New, new tab. And we're going to use. Show the grid. This riveting game development here. Alright, here we go. We'll copy this and paste it. First two. Ah, we need to view image bigger grid. Sixteen Ah sixteen by sixteen, okay. Now we can actually align this all. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we're gonna have a bit of yellow in here, I think. Um oh Ranty, I got a question yes. for you. Um Do you agree that it's unsafe to give guns to flurfs? Do I agree that it's unsafe? Um, I think that there's a lot of uh, people out there that are very passionate about a lot of things, so probably not the best thing to do. You know, they should be put under the ringer uh, a little bit more before they get a gun. You yeah. know, to find out whether or not they're actually safe to handle one. Yeah, the main reason why I ask is because I feel like it would be akin to giving a gun to a child. Mm. You know, we all mm. agree that we sh that some that is something that you probably shouldn't do. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine Nathan Oakley owning a gun? Well, my grandson would probably be quite pr proficient at knocking apples off your head. From a quarter mile. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to give um, Nathan Oakley a, a gun. <laughs> okay. Go. We'll turn the grid off. Now. Go. Got a more whitish color. Yeah. Even though guns don't actually have <laughs> have that, it's just for effect. No. 
I, I don't think from what I've heard like guns don't actually have the uh, fire coming out of it no they should have just a little light a little white light maybe yeah but you know when yeah. you... Not, not fire Oh yeah, or or um, you, you like I'm sure everyone's seen like the typical game how it's like a. Come on, let me. Guns and video games. Guns. We've Fire. all played Red, Red. We've all played Red Dread. Red Dread Redemption Two. Come on. Now where is? Oh, here, here's a uh, good example. Right, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the, yeah. the. It looks like it's the smoke that's illuminated. Yeah, comes out the end of the barrel. But like that, from what I can tell, I don't think that's. Maybe I might be wrong, but I don't think that's what actually happens when you fire a gun. It's just. <laughs> Why are you showing it? Oh, uh, it'll come on. Like, if you're watching the stream, it'll come on the stream in a second. If it was, uh, and you're in the stream and uh, thing that was already shown it, but um, it, it's alright. Cool. Um, I need to make. I need to have a little bit of recoil here. question is how much recoil do I want how much re question is how much recoil should I have where should the recoil that looks kind of yeah that looks kind of like how it should be maybe a, maybe here Oh, that, that, yeah, that looks like he's actually, that looks like a gun's being fired, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see the animation in action. Oh, I've got to actually fully draw the animation first, so. Let's. Let's, I'm going to go view. So grid and Yeah. Yeah, when I was young growing up, if you got something as fancy as a square coming out of the end of the gun, you were doing good. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Simplest thing to draw. Takes two bits. <laughs> what I'm going to do is... Well, how many frames this will end up being. I've uh, got three to work with currently, but I can always add more. And we'll would you at least try to write it at least to some degree that the constraints of something like a Commodore sixty four or a NES can be used? A what? So somebody you know, so somebody like 8-bit guy could set it up for the Commodore 64. Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably have it so that... Uh, well, what I've currently got is I've actually made it so that the save file could probably be saved on a um, PlayStation... I know it could definitely be saved on a PlayStation 1 memory card because they only have one megabyte of space. 
So the save file currently is about, what's the largest, hold on, let me try and find the largest save file that I've got saved. Uh, have, no, have, what, are you, what, what are you building this with? Game Maker. Okay. Oh, right, okay. Percent app data percent. And then go to the local app data rather than the roaming app data. And we'll go to, to Flurfia. The largest file size is 890 bytes for the save file. There we go. And that's because there's a, just a lot of stuff in the area that this file was saved in. Now that could most certainly be fit on a PlayStation 1 memory card. Okay, um, yeah, let's uh, image. Canvas size, and we're going to give this a width of 128. I'm just down and down and. Okay, All right. Export as dusty attack. Export. Let's go over here. Duplicate. Open. Edit. No. Get to go <coughs> import. Open, yes, the image. Go to frames. Frames four, number row four. Yeah. Right. Yeah, an NES cartridge can hold up to one megabyte. Okay. All right. Let's... Metal Saber Glory has a one megabyte cartridge. And actually, I have that game. Cool. I didn't know it was that big. Now, if I bring this zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I'm a game developer. I know how to make games. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to... Ah. Little bit of an issue. All right. It's one slight issue. A couple of slight issues, but we're gonna we we'll solve them all. Alright. This should be over by right. that amount. There we go. Import to double check. Import, back, open, yes, edit image, image, convert to frames, convert, yes, yes, I do want to, yeah, we can go to here, enter, all right, here we go, and we're going to up it to probably 10 frames per second, all right, let's see how this goes, actually, like, like, let's go, let's see what it's like. Probably 15 is. How does that look? Commodore 64 can do 24 frames. Looks good. Okay. And that's what happens when you give a flare for a gun. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, and we're gonna. Okay. Main R. You not ancient like me? You may not get my. Yeah, I'm not ain't terribly ancient. I. Yeah, I I haven't actually played Doom. If that's um, because I, I do like. Oh, I do like some of the music. Uh, there are some. Like the main, uh, the main theme of one of the original Doom games, really nice. I don't remember the name of it, but yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> What's next on the agenda? Because we have. Alright, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off and go to bed. All right. So Thank you, Ranty. Half twelve in the morning here. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah. Have a. Hope you had a good New Year. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's well, right. don't forget to party on, Ranty. <laughs> and just remember, the fifteen degree per hour drift is not the ether. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> just bugging you. <laughs> see you later. All right. See ya. Party on, dude. <laughs> All righty. Yeah. Yeah. Along with you. Uh oh. Oh, the first stuff. Oh. On the cartoon version of Happy Days. Okay. Alright, now the question is what do I do next? Invite on Nathan Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's not good. He wouldn't show up if I invited, if I invited him on. Uh, but. Am I able to do that? Because we have. All right, we. Ah, I can. All right, so if I bring this over here, all right, and I go to. Right. I'm not going to invite him because he'd probably accept the joint, the, you know. Yeah, I'm not too keen on having a debate today. <laughs> Uh, characters, um, we're gonna go Dusty. <clears throat> or, oh, no. What if Research Flat Men would respond? Player. Alright, so, we have... Oh, that would be, that would be something I... interesting. Actually. A, 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 a uh, planner walk. I just uh, attempted to uh, see if uh, Research Flat Moon would join in. Okay. You need to design a legitly Days Lemonade stand. Your flir will need to, game flares will need some refreshments. Um, yeah, eventually I will get around uh, to is that. Is that but... lemonade or second hand lemonade? <laughs> Well, essentially, what I'll, <laughs> what I'll do for the, like lemonade is it'll be like a lot later in the game because most people in this game are globe earthers because there's a plain old conspiracy uh, to try and um, you know to try and uh, hide the shape of the earth from everyone. You should have a flat Earth lemonade stand. A special lemonade for the flat earthers. And now there will be some flat earthers, like there will be a town of flat earthers, and that's where that will go. But that's not until like late, far later on in the game. Essentially, the the plan, right, for the general the general sort of plan for the game will be first you'll uh, sort of travel out of the town, right, out of the town that you start in. Then you'll um, then you'll be part of uh, join a Bigfoot hunting group. They're basically searching for Bigfoot. Then after that, you'll uh, go to a yeah. After looking after searching for Bigfoot, you'll go to a town. That town will be in a sort of somewhat desert area. That town will. Uh, Trying to be like a western 
sort of, you know, old western town. And then after that, so, yeah, after you go to the western town, what up? you do after that? I think then it will be... Have you drawn the Bigfoot yet? No, not yet. No, but you draw some little teeny guy <laughs> with gigantic feet. You really should. Probably. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cliche. It's cliche, it's dated, but why not? The rest of the game's kind of out, uh, kind of a bit. Mm. It might actually fit in, because that would be... was a common thing in those games. Little guys with huge feet. Yeah, well, what I was going to do is I was going to make it so that the bearded guy... Bald guy, but, like, bearded and, like... You're probably, like, big feet, but also, like, the beard just, like, comes down, like, <laughs> to, his, uh, to his knees or something. Yeah, the, those feet do have to be insanely oversized. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Crouching Tiger hit him and said, "Will this gun, uh, will this game run on Linux? Will it be available as flat pack? I'm not sure if it will be available as flat pack. Uh, like if I, if I just go to here right, and go. Okay, that's why I said if you get it so it work on the NES or the uh, Commodore 64, we can get it on every other platform." From there, yeah, I, I don't think it. I, I don't think it will be able to run on the Commodore sixty four. Like the graphics are just too complicated to uh, to be able to do that. So if I go to my Kelly's Opera settings, um, game options. What's Daniel Gable thing? That Chris Germer's only to I, I maybe oh maybe it's live chat maybe no, I don't see anything there either. Uh and uh hmm. Only there's calls. Group sound mixer generate project images, create local pack or local pack layouts. Um those build. Uh hold on. Let me see. GM is to build oh, GM is to build for Mac. Okay, here we go. Reddit.com. Austin in 2020. It's great. Uh, ah. Apparently you need uh, a Mac to be able to build to Mac. <laughs> yeah. Or Commodore 64. Because somehow they're porting them to Mac too. Hmm. Well, the thing is, this is not, I, I'm telling you now, this is not going to be able to run on a Commodore 64. It's just way too, like, the graphics are too complex. <laughs> yeah, but you can uh, run a, just run a program on it that reduces the graphics to 8-bit. That would be, like, that would be comp rather complicated to do. And, like, not only that, but, like, um... Like, because there, yeah, there would be things that like there'd be things that would be lost, as you know, like things would have to be compressed, and then it's then you'd have to, I'd have to go through and make sure that everything actually works. It would take a lot of effort to go through because um, I I have to do scaling of things, 
I'd have to change all the graphics, make sure the graphics actually work. I'm not sure if like there's even transparency which I didn't don't think would work. Um, so yeah, they have to consider transparency. I'm not sure that the transparency would work. It's just too much of a hassle to convert it to Commodore 64. Like if I was designing for the Commodore 64, you keep all of these things in mind from the get go. I was not designing for this Commodore 64. Uh, this was designed for, you know, Windows and Mac and all, and Linux and all that, not for ancient machines. <laughs> it's not going to be able to run on Windows 98. In fact, I don't think the shaders would even load. <laughs> Oh yeah. How about a Raspberry Pi 4? Uh, I might be able to run on a ra Raspberry Pi. It is something that it might that I might be able to do. Okay. Well, these picks up that I've got. You know what I mean? Hmm. I should probably like dual install. Um. I. I'll probably better install Linux on a machine, and then uh, install Game Maker Studio 2 on that machine as well. And then, if I do that, I'll be able to build to Linux, so. I've got a machine that can probably install Ubuntu. So that's 32 bits. I'd program up your computer natively for what? Linux. should program whatever machine you're going to use natively to Linux. Well, it's more... So it's not like a VM. Well, I'm, no, I'm not talking about creating a VM. I'm just, like, talking about, like... Although that could be the way that I could get a Mac build of this, like, use a virtual machine. I do use Windows. Yeah, you're right. You could. Um, Crouching yeah. Tiger. You had a good computer. Yeah, if you had a good computer, you could simulate the Mac. Yeah. I don't blame you for not wanting to buy a Mac as well. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> it, it takes a bit of effort to, to buy a Mac and <laughs> all that. All right, take care, Chris. Uh, Chris Durham. All right, the question is, what do I do? I W S L two. Oh. W S L two. Yeah, I know one good thing. Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay. That's Okay, that that could work. Um main thing that I'll need to the main issue will be building this to Mac. Because you know Mac. But more difficult to build for. Uh, I wouldn't even bother wasting my time with Apple. Yeah, well people if they want it, they'll run an they'll run an emulator. <laughs> I mean, that is an option, but... Yeah. Anyway. Because if this will run off Pi, they'll be able to run on an emulator on a Mac. Mm. My, my question is, what do I do now? So I have... Currently have... Uh, the... I currently have the attack sprites. Probably be creating the battle, I'd say. Um, yeah, probably the battle. All right. Let's create a... <coughs> All right, here, here we go. Um, okay, so we need to... So there's quit okay, so Dusty is going unlike Belu, Dusty is gonna have high defense because his armor is what's gonna be protecting him. Question is how much HP should I give him? I was thinking well his armor can oh I can give him extra HP from his armor. Because I do actually have the ability to give you know uh good art. 
I, it's possible in this game for armor and stuff to give you HP bonuses. Because essentially when it comes when it comes to these things, you got to you gotta make everything unique. It can't just be, oh, this piece of armor gives you, you know, this you know, this particular advantage and it's no, it's only in one area. It's like, okay, well, what if I create armor that's good in multiple different areas? Alrighty. Let's... Let's create a... Uh, let's go to the objects. Create a... Trigger object. A... On. Uh, we'll use duplicate this one. Obj underscore dust battle. Uh, oh one. Just in case there's ever a second battle. Um. Alrighty, and we want to go to the, want to go all the way down to the town. Go to the room. This usually takes up like a lot of RAM, but let me check my RAM usage. So it's probably going to be climbing. We're only using 650 megabytes. Um, so let's... Position layer. Put... Just put it there for now. Um, and then we'll close. Um, we'll go. Uh, but we don't. We okay. We want gonna have to use the progress grid that I've got here to check. This is gonna be probably number no, that would be number I think this is number six. But number six. Is um, chapter to start. Boom. Righty. Zero one. Go zero seven because that's the one that we use. Seven, we'll go. There we go. Essentially, we've got this thing to monitor the progress that the player makes in the game. All, all the progress monitored. Probably more efficient ways to do it, but maybe some things that the player misses go back. There's once where I had a particular number, and it was just a number that changed. It didn't work well for when I wanted like multiple different things to do. 
wasn't a great thing. Switch to it. An array works so much better. Because at least with an array, you can. You, you can have all sorts of fun things happening. Anyway. Okay. That all. Um. Let's check the code for another thing. You don't need this. Not right now. We won't need this. We may need the. Um. We can get. What can we do? We can. Save. Seen as the one. Yep. Can go up. Here. Thing which walks. Okay. Walk. In. Enter Dusty Bit Enter Dusty. I can go. Here we go. We're, we're getting somewhere, which is good. Okay. Was it? All right. Um, do we still have anybody in the chat? Oh, we got um, Crouching Tiger Head and Adam Gwyn's server. <laughs> Alrighty, what am I gonna how am I gonna go about this? Because we've got the uh, all the attacks there. We've got the uh, there's actually another sprite for the player that I need to create. It's a heal sprite. Crouching Tiger Animus Animus still in the chat. 
Generally, when you've got about 10 viewers, most of them are sort of just here lurking. You know? Probably have a lot of people just lurking, being like, oh, somewhat. Mild. This is mildly interesting because occasionally this guy talks. <laughs> Uh Okay. Alrighty, time to think of how I'm going to go about this a bit harder. Alright, so into Dusty Battle, got that. Alright, so we'll just go, for now we'll just go underscore into battle and we'll get Dusty's battle to be argument zero for now. We may need to change, I don't think we'll need to change. Um, we need to set the dialogue, reset the dialogue action, otherwise we uh, get issues. Um, then I need to go to the room, change some code in there. So, go to account room. This uh, should be down here, creation code. And we need to copy and sub paste some room. The room. Let's go to the ruins and let's uh Bilu one. Go creation code. And then we'll go, all right. We should probably just copy the whole code along. Okay. Uh, any flurfers here? I have a question. Uh, I don't think we do have any flurfers here. Uh, but hello, industrial commissioning engineer. How are you doing? Um. Okay. So here we go. Finalize a thousand. Oh, that's the There's something to do with. Ah, oh, I'm doing well. I'm currently programming, trying to remember half the things that I did. No, I don't need to. 
do this, so that can, we're actually, just in case we do. We do need to create a new object though. I want to ask, uh, what if it's if gravity isn't real, why are we, why are objects able to balance around their center of mass? Uh, they would probably say because a relative de density disequilibrium. And when you try and press them on what that means, they'll just say relative density disequilibrium. Until eventually they get overloaded and explode. That's how you defeat flat earthers. You just over try and overload them with saying the same thing over and over again. And then they'll overload and explode. We've been trying that here at NASA headquarters. So some people have ethical concerns about making flat earthers explode. You know, there's obviously going to be some ethical concerns. But like, they're flat earthers. Do we really have to consider the ethics? Apparently we do. Some of the electricians under you are flat earthers. Oh, jeez, that's that's why. Why is why are people like this? I had diffraction or something. They'll probably say. Okay, we've got. Let's just. I'm gonna use the. Use the one. Duplicate. So, SD. And obviously, obviously, we're not going to be using the. <laughs> well, only one, but I think the guy not really. Don't hate him. He's just. He's a good electrician. I can count on him. Just want him to think. Yeah. Name. Alright, so name will be Dusty. Now we can go to here and go in there. I only need row zero. Maybe Jan. You know me. Uh, uh, dusty. Got 100, 200. I pro zero. Alrighty. I don't really need. I don't think I need to really have that in there if I recall correctly. Runescape. Very different to Runescape. Um. Very different to Runescape. All right. Well, I hope. Oh, we. Oh, yeah. We need the no flee uh, flag in there. We need. Yeah, that's one thing that I. Yeah. Almost forgot that I need to have the. Oh, oh you. Oh yeah, I played it. In fact, I played it fairly re fairly recently. Uh, it was about a month ago, maybe. Oh. Um. All right. Control C. I'd use it on this channel. Settings, community, control V, save. As long as you're not a live earth, I think I'm fired it up wrong. That's, yeah, that's really funny. Alrighty. I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> well, now. 
Uh, how much HP do we want to give Dusty? We'll probably give him about a hundred and seventeen. <coughs> oh. 117. Okay. Take your uh, industrial commissioning engineer. And 117. I should probably just have a. Attack. Yeah, we'll want to have a decent amount. Attack. To have. Shield B. In the hand. Put the shield up to 40. Needs to be stronger than the tank, obviously. Okay. I think that's on the XP can come up to like twenty it does. Then don't get a whole lot of XP from bosses and stuff. Though you don't get a lot of XP from just beating them. Most of your XP in this game is actually probably gonna be from playing the game well. You play the game well, yeah, you're, you're fine. You'll, you'll get XP. No, no worries. If you don't play the game well, then you, you'll, you'll have issues. Center X is going to be 16. Center Y will be 16. Uh, size and height will be uh, 32 by 32. If I go to Velo, it's probably... Yeah, okay. Velo has a lot more HP than that. But Dusty needs. I'm gonna change the sprite. Sprites to be. Character. Character. Dusty Idol. Okay, cool. And then we'll go image speed equals, I think it's 0.25. I think that's it. Maybe wrong. Alrighty. Now we just. Alrighty, let's see how this works. There's going to be something that will go wrong. But, that's part of things that happen when you're developing stuff. I am going to need to take O'Reilly real soon. That's also part of developing, is Riley. Taking O'Reilly. Don't, we don't work at Amazon here. So uh, yeah, we can go all the way down here. I did drop a little bit. Oh, actually, we're fine. Okay. I know what the issue is there. 
All right, I am going to go <laughs> toilet real quick. So, unless I'm going toilet, you can listen to counter space word salad. Uh, so we'll be on a. Oh, hold on. Let me see how the intermission. If I've got the intermission. Screen. <laughs> One second, I'll actually lower the volume. Okay. Here's out. Okay. Well, the photon idea is an abstraction from misunderstanding the coaxial nature of light, which is a refraction of compression along the dielectric. Yes, and that, of course, is just a compound ether perturbation modality, because that's all the field is, and I define that in my definition. Counter space. Counter space. Rate of induction. Counter space. Counter space. Counter space. Well, it's the ether. Not even a single scientist on this earth has ever said quantitary disk model of projective geometry. Not even a single scientist on this earth has ever said harmonic incommensurability. Not even a single scientist on this earth has ever said. Perturbation modality, because that's all the field is, and I define that in my definition. Alrighty. Go back to the thing. Oh. Alrighty. Um. All right, I am back. Alrighty. Uh, we were. Oh yes, the fixing of the. Okay, we just need to go down to the scripts. Go to the script uh, battle. And we need to go. And we just need to have an if statement. If. Instance underscore. This for bj underscore player dungeon. Can we this? Else 
F. And this for maybe J and this for player town to this here. And there's probably a more efficient way of doing it. Sorry. I think it's the instance of this. No. Okay. There we go. That should work ish now. It, I, I use the term work loosely, as in, uh, I mean it as in. It should do a thing. We'll see if it does a thing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we keep on running into it somehow. <laughs> and because there's no commands for attack, then, yep. Got people, what is it? Okay, fine, Colin. Nothing important. Install this new the system update on my phone because that's a thing that they want me. To. Okay, well, it, uh, hey, you can attack Dusty and Flurfia now. His defense is a little, little bit low though. Let's uh, give him a. Let's Bump up his defense. I need to make him like quite formidable. We will up his defense to about 15, probably. Uh, I wonder if Dusty... It'd be funny if Dusty was online. <laughs> is, is he online, or is he...? Nah, he's not online. Sean would have... Quite Dusty. A little bit past um speed. What was the image what is standard image use for okay, underscore town create image and the image speed is for the idle. Point zero five, okay. All right, so it should be a bit harder to kill Dusty now. Shouldn't be doing so much damage. 
Apparently you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised at one thing and I've never been able to figure out. Well. Why I'm not able to upload Im emojis. Um. Love to be able to upload you some emojis on here. Uh, I, I usually like to, you know, be able to... Oh. That didn't go how I was expecting. Jump what? On, uh, Dusty got the jump on me a little bit. Um, yeah, he's he's trying to attack, but okay, let's let's like code in like a small attack function. Uh, uh, close that. Let's close a few of these things down. We'll probably need that, or we don't need. There. So, did you steal the Team Skeptic Dinger from my server or Team's server? Uh, I think I stole it from Godless Engineer a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Team Skeptic just told me to go ahead onto his channel and get them all. So, I did. Okay. Directly downloaded from him, <laughs> which was cool. Yeah. Alrighty. Now that we've got all that sorted. If you ever need a spare mod, let me know. Okay. Alright. What we have to go to the uh, main based enemy. Go to the deep event. Deep event, maybe? Yeah. There we go. And we're going to need to go case a case how do I get into the super secret channels? Super secret channels? Yeah. What do you mean? Down below. The very bottom channels. Uh, which ones do you have access to? I'll grab it actually. With this account, any I want, but uh, I'm asking how to properly be able to have access to super secret projects. Hold on. Let me. S I think it'd be interesting. Oh, I. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that one is. I actually never actually did anything with that. It was meant to be a thing that I was going to do, but we didn't get around to it. it was meant to, I think it was meant to be a review thing. Want me to help uh, set up a few tiered rooms for different levels? Mm, mm, oh. I know how to do all that crap. Yeah, I know how to do things as well. Like the server isn't well, don't really do much. used all that much, and it'd be nice to, for it to be used more. Like if people want to come in and, uh, and but all right, okay, uh, so we're just gonna go back here. So in the case of, course. of yeah, yeah, zero out of two boasts. Yeah. I get is the target is at so we'll, heck will be uh, psychic wave for one now. Make sure that it works. Doing a thing. I'm curious what happens when we beat Dusty. As long as I'm not stuck in an endless loop of fighting Dusty all day. There we go. And now when I attack him, it takes less damage. There we go.
Ah. Oh, it wasn't good. Um, Dusty is a pushover. Currently, I'll make him a bit harder. Hello there, Mr. Andjorg. How you doing? Oh, that wasn't... Uh, okay, take care, uh, Crouching Tiger Hidden Adam. Almost beat a dusty. Yeah, Dusty's fight uh, will be a little bit more interesting if I get around. Yeah, I'm done. No. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm gonna have to. Actually, no. I don't. Don't have to worry about Dusty too much. Okay, and well, then you go back to Grand. Okay. All righty. Yes. I'm going I will actually have to things up from a better Yeah, have things on oh, my Samsung just back on. It means it's almost finished updating. Um Alrighty, now here's where things get a little dicier. All right, I need to have a switch. I'll put a switch statement in here. Because... Oh, wait, wait. Switch name. Break. Right. Case. We'll go case. D. Fault. Okay, do I have the right number of everything? Oh wait, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we go to create cases. Alt case, we will just flash it. Set the timer to be something like 30. Uh, probably. Dusty's attack will be going to get done in the game because. Be like a have like a certain 
It'll be annoying to deal with because it'll just fire a whole lot of rounds into you. <laughs> probably, I'll probably make it like 10 rounds, give or take. Now it's not going to piss me to update my phone. Yeah. This is all the things that I have to... All the things... So... In this case... Vault. Well, let's... Yeah, we'll set up the vault first. That way I can use that attack for like Anyway, he has a default sword attack that they use. Then. Actually, let's go. Just go attack type. Other than just using the name, we'll go. Attack type equals time default attack type. The default attack type will be I can go to dust go to Dusty. Tech time to be dusty. Hey, works. Okay, if the timer is equal to hundred thousand. I'm going to be something like 50, or we'll set this to be 30. I'm going to be 8. I'm going to new thing. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to use some complicated logic. Well, it's not technically it's not complicated, but complicated seeing as I've got five hundred lines, lines of code just for. Okay. I I say that I tell people that it has tens of thousands of lines of code. It has to. I, I know that it has thousands of lines of code. Well, it has to have at least 10,000 lines of code. Running. Properly. Okay. It tied pretty easily. Go for more hours. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely go for a few more hours. I want to get, like... I want to get, I want to get, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have like a basic, we're going to have like a base battle working by the end of the stream. Dusty will be up, by the end of the stream, Dusty will be able to fight back. I don't know how scary that is to people. But, and I'll also, I don't know how scary Dusty fighting back is to people, but we'll, I'm also going to just go A message um, helping me. Hey, we are to we'll make things a little bit easier. To be honest, <laughs> I 
Make things a make things a little bit easier if I can. Oh, we can close that as well. Ah, uh, there we go. We can. That's my Gmail going. Everything's phone's updated. You're not going to piss to me. These are some things. Okay, phone has been successfully updated. Cool. There we go. Uh, anyway. Need to create an object. We'll probably just have it. B. Nothing here that I can use for it. Really, poison one. Uh, we'll just use the psychic wave one. Duplicate psychic wave is very. Well, in basic attack. Yeah. Okay. We'll just have, yeah, if timer is, what's the timer generally set to? Timer set to 16. Um, based. These things need to be. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, here we go. Instance create depth. Oh, wait, the thing that okay. Where is the Okay, OBJ and big. Image and Dixie. Okay, so we need to get the paint. What would be under effects of the paint? We need to. Paste. Oh. Um. Under heads, hex. Oh, yeah, we under attack. Surely, surely, surely. Okay. 
me see that it's given this. All right, seven frames long. We need these. We need to create game development. Love to go through multiple things. So seven, maybe seven frames. But we have to go back to OBJ and effect. Here we go. Okay, so it's it at a normal rate. Okay. Okay, so oh. I remember the path. Yes. Excellent. Okay. All right, so image speed is one. I don't really need to worry about it. A equals target. Hopefully, it's the target that we're doing. All right. All right, if uh, speed equals one, create timer equals seven. We don't have to worry about the alpha timer zero. All right. Timer equals three. And we do the thing. Timer equals seven. We don't need to worry about alpha. Draw it. Need to worry about if it hit or not. I'm a juice. <laughs> All right, equals equal to zero. Then we do the then we do the yeeting. All right, so image speed is one. All right, we'll put the timer after that. Alrighty, so this should this should do a thing. God knows that I'm gonna have problems. <laughs> the one time that I thought that I'd not have problems, the one time that I managed to do the most stupidest thing that I've ever done in my life. That's what programming is. You find out how stupid you are. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go main menu and rather than feeling something vibrate. I'm going to go load game and go use this save file. That way I can go down here.
Okay, now it shouldn't be too difficult for me to get over here. Oh wait, it still does the same thing. I didn't... Yep, I didn't... Change... The... This is how you program. <laughs> didn't change the thing over. Alright, so this needs to be changed to... Uh, Okay, underscore in basic attack. All right. All right, let's see if it works. Who knows? One way to find out. There we go. Oh. <laughs> there are other things I need to do. Change it to a physical attack. That with. Okay, we can change this to change this to forty probably. Change this to be. Change this of this eighteen. Yep, all right. We'll change this to twenty. Okay, change. Oh yeah, we need to, we also need to change this. Uh, the attack rate one. There we go. there's our attack ratio. I'm doing well. By default, I think there's zero, which means that there's no attack ratio. You know, we're not getting attack. Um. <clears throat> Alrighty. This is when I really get into things. I just realized I've been getting really into this. You know, this is peak programming. And the thing is, you know, like, technically I'm talking to myself, but, you know, you guys can kind of understand what's going on, right? <laughs> All right, uh, target. Oh, yeah, we need to. Oh, yeah, I think it's like a See how that works. <sighs> Continue.
There's surely there's I need to have like a landmark there. Okay, take care, uh, Daniel. Alrighty, here we go. You must be just trying to put in t time on the tube, are you? What do you mean? You seem to be pretty quiet in here. All alone. Yeah. Currently I'm just making sure things work, which actually, now that I, th now that I look at it, it's not really working like I... Let me pay close attention. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to pay close attention. How much you got to pay the close attention? Five dollars an hour? What? Okay, I was right. There's a thing wrong. Um, you never heard me, did you? Yeah, I did. Uh, I was, uh, there's a thing wrong. A thing. Boy, that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by a lot. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're you're, you're right. It does narrow it down. The thing that narrows it down a lot. I'll put some glasses on because. Yeah, there's something that might exist. Because <laughs> oh. it's a thing. The dust. The glasses are <laughs> dusty, much like this character that I'm trying to make. Actual formidable foe in the game. She might be a little dust on the bottle. Okay, here we go. Alright, now that I've gotten that. It's It'll help me sleep a bit, a bit easier. Have you fixed that key on your piano yet? No, I haven't. It, it works, but it does Like, I don't know. I don't know. Let me... I go down. The thought should come off that quite easily to actually repair that key. You can usually find them keys all over eBay. You know that? Probably. They're not that difficult to take apart. Just type in the model number of your machine on... On the on the uh, our uh, favorite website to hate, YouTube Academy, and you find out how to disassemble it and put her back together. Yeah, I, it is actually it, quite it easy works, to do. right? Oh yeah, if I buy that key though, five bucks and a little bit of shipping, and then it'd be restored back to nice. I, it works. It's just. It's just the key can come off quite easily. It works, it just doesn't look like it works. But like, I can still like... You realize I can't see it from Discord, right? I can only hear everything. Yeah, but there's a point that you can hear it. Yeah. Because <laughs> you said look. <laughs> You're using the word look. Not I, uh, here. Yeah, that'd probably be a bit. <laughs> probably been a bit of. It, yeah, probably would have been a bit of word, to be honest. Grammar police. Damn mm -hmm. grammar police. Even on your own server, you got grammar police coming at you. <coughs> get it? Yeah, I, I get it. Okay, let's. So the grammar police or grammar grammar Nazis? Which do you call them? Uh, whichever works best. A anyway, let's check to see if this works. Cause, uh, I gotta I gotta make sure everything's working. Right, continue through here. And I'm building an alarm. What? And I'm building an alarm. I'm building an alarm. Nice. The goal is four milliamps for the entire thing. Okay.
All right, let's see if this... That way it can go for a couple weeks on a cordless tool battery. I need to out for dusty speed, probably to what I'd expect the player speed to be, to be honest. Yeah. Dusty is a bit of a pushover, especially seeing as. That looks good for the attack. All right. So, seeing as that works, let's. All right. I think we'll. That all works. All right. Switch. And we're gonna go. Case. Dusty. In the case of Dusty, how are we gonna? Okay, I'm gonna need to think a bit how I'm gonna do this because you don't set off smoke alarm while you're thinking too hard. <laughs> True. Because I don't want to make it just a simple line because I can use like line render, but no, that doesn't. Turn-based ones are going to be a little more difficult when it comes to this thing. I need... could probably... I could probably... Um... <coughs> okay. If Ah oh, jeez, we've got thing. I keep on I keep on uh getting the getting rid of them but coming back. Thought he wasn't gone about the cat came yet because he couldn't stay away. I I probably actually got a lot of people people like that trying to chat and you know, trying to send messages like that but they're like I can't get past <laughs> you know, I can't get past the uh, filters which means that the filters are working if that's true but simply just can't get past the filters then the filters are working Okay, here's the proper thing. Here's the proper attack. We're going to need to set time to do something. We're going to have a thing. We're going to go. If timer is equal to. Let's say if timer is equal to 30. Uh, we're going to go right, place right, underscore, index, 
come. Yeah, I just realized something. Okay, um, we're gonna have to add extra. I'm gonna have to add extra code. <laughs> uh. Well, that happens once in a while, Sonny. What do you expect? Be perfect. Else. You know, those young whippersnippers, you think everything is perfect, but you know. Okay, we're we gonna have to. Else, um. If image speed is greater than zero, we're going to need to go Im image old speed will equal uh, image. Image speed and image speed can equal zero. I'll update real quick. Good. Okay, it's not going to update for some reason, for whatever reason, but we can. I like I like when things are colourful, but decided not to be colourful. Anyway, actually, ah, we'll do it. We we can go to the event and go image old speed equal. Zero. If we do that, we can go up to here and go if image old speed is larger than zero, image speed equals old speed and then image old speed speed can equal zero again. There we go. Just to make sure that everything runs along fine. Okay, now right index. <laughs> Getting back to this thing. The sprite index will be uh SPR underscore dusty attack R uh, image speed equals point five F Means that if timer is equal, so that's if timer is equal to thirty. Thirty minus six is twenty-four. So if timer is equal to twenty-four, then we can go SPR just did tag ah. Uh, And tech main R. Okay, cool. Let's see how this works. This is not going to really do anything, but 
Oh yeah, there is one issue. But see how it works. Hello. Hi, I'm just uh, testing out to make sure the no. works. Oh, uh, if you see the screen, that's what I was building. Okay. Doing it 1950s, 60s style technology. Okay. Late 70s. Yeah. Well, currently, I am trying to make sure that this actually. Yeah. Well, just uh. Hand built board style. But it's old school circuit, the actual circuit. Okay. It's a circuit that uses a buzzer, which is the white thing, to drive a semiconductor to make a super powerful buzzer out of it that you can make a, a little alarm out of. Okay. So, gold, really old school, and it draws nothing until it's triggered, basically. Yeah. All right, so it's basically an open circuit while it's silent. Okay, so now I need to get the image speed back to one because that looks a little bit too slow. Uh, and so, therefore, if time if timer is equal to twenty, then I can probably actually change this down to ten, fourteen. 20 inches, I don't know, 35. Oh, 35, 14, 10. Time is equal to 10. We can go back to uh, sprite or index equals SBR underscore just the Okay, just the idle R, and then the image speed equals 0 0.05. Okay. You know a uh, vehicle. You know vehicles dash security cameras? Yeah. They're designed so that all you gotta do once you have them set up once is apply power and they start recording. Yeah. You know, so like when you turn the key on and your accessory socket comes to life, the dash camera just, just it just starts recording. Yeah. Its default is to start recording. Yeah, I think I already knew that. <laughs> That means that I can set up a security device using them and that circuit board to create kind of an alarm that will draw nothing. It actually sit there basically is like an open circuit almost. Okay. Until somebody moves. And then they, when they move, it'll trigger that thing of mine, which will power up the cameras and power everything on, switch on stuff, and get everything recording. Okay, I need to, uh, to do a thing. Um, because I just realized. Yeah. Uh, here and then it turns on a cell phone and phones Buddy, the owner of the house. Yeah, we're going to go create. Go, uh, we'll have. The pick. Eight will be zero. Um, we'll go set tech eight zero eight tech eight to be. Let's actually put the fourteen under this. Ten. 
Wait, wait. Awesome. All right. Timer equals 14. F. Tech. Feet. Smaller than. Smaller than five plus I ran I random cuts. Go five plus I random five. We go about I random six. Go seven. So that's King Cups. Okay. Oh, lucky number 13 if you get hit with 13 attacks. Okay. Timer equals 14. Else. And I'm gonna up Dusty's speed a bit as well because he needs to go a bit faster. Dusty's speed currently has speed is oh his speed will be low. Yeah, it's at three. Jeez. Um yeah, let's up his speed to eight. Yeah, he he's using the he's using the tank speed. Tanks not particularly great at Thing. It being fast. That tank that I had at least. Alright. Okay, that's a bit too... We're along here. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Found it. Which one I need? Oh, we took damage? Oh, that's because there's probably not a break there. <laughs> yeah, there's probably not a break there. Um, gonna make everything seem so terrible. Yeah, we need... Go. I need to add in. Break. <laughs> Why I'm taking damage. Okay. Continue. What 
but... I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know. Did you see how you finished that one? Oh, I'm just gonna see what happens. He only attacks once. Zero. Okay, let's collapse a lot of these down because Oh yeah, that's that's probably the reason why. Timer equals one. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. She. Um, go up to the. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, go right. Time it equals one. Okay. Yeah. I just need to watch Dusty, see what Dusty does. Okay. That looks it looks cool. I, I like I like the animation that plays there. Fortunately he's gonna die. So sad. Need to get him actually dealing damage, which is going to be a little bit of a harder thing, to be honest. I need to work out what's going to. Because yeah. what am I gonna do? Yeah, okay. All right. Here's what I am going to do. I am going to. We have a new sprite. Width. Uh, let's make the width. Oh. 
the width will be who says I was listening to the radio earlier and they announced a partial lunar eclipse not visible from the US but That possible on a flat earth? I don't know how that would be possible on a flat earth. I want to ask a flat earther about that and they'll prob probably not give you an answer because flat earthers don't have answers. Okay, so Dusty shoots you. Need a bullet because projectile or something. Uh, let's go. 96 seems like a decent distance away. 96, okay. And there's a new thing. Go. Wait. Image, configure grid. We're going to go 16 by 16 because it's. Okay, we go. Okay. Add lamma. P. Change this down to white. It'll be black. Going to. A gradient of white to black. I could have probably. And then we'll have a white splattering of blood. Control Z. New layer. Actually, I should probably just light effect. Maybe the black thing is not really blood. And let's file export as images. We'll go to effects. Okay, folder gun dot gun shot one dot png export. All right. Okay. What is gunshot O two export? Okay. So this Okay. Now with that we can go to here and go sprites create 
bit sprite import is one shot. Just import the both of these. Okay. I like that. I don't, I, I like that. So, if we get to here, we can. Perhaps the default down. Uh, we can. All right. We can so at fourteen we can create a new object or create create an object out of the last object that we made. Well, it's gonna be more complex than that. Um It gun shot. Right. Six. Six. Go to the rename it. SPR underscore gun dot underscore R uh, go TB just to keep it. Okay, now with that done, we can go to Actually, I might change it ever so slightly. With that done, I can now go to uh, to see. No, not Dusty. Back to the thing. And go back to here. And we can. Um, you tracked their message. Huh. That's odd. Maybe they thought that I was a flat earther and then realized that I wasn't. It means that they'll be ages behind stream. Potentially. Alrighty, with this we can. I did a lot more programming today than I thought I was going to. I thought a lot of this would be art. I really did. I thought most of what I'd be doing would be art, but... My story is like... I'm not today. We don't work on story today. We don't work on story when I can... Because I could potentially... Well, I don't want to spoil too much of the story. I'm at any time. Can we? Okay. 
chain way. Get that. Okay. Underscore to be. What's the object? We create an object, right? In ah, in gun shop. In gunshot. Here we go. One of the things that's going to be difficult is creating like more magic. Magic is actually rather difficult to do art for. And uh, I'll, you know, work out. Got tie. Yes. Okay, we need to. <laughs> okay. And we'll just use the same code. Probably just have a thing to tell you. Okay. Now, hopefully it works. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> I need to reduce the strength of guns. <laughs> like they are a little bit overpowered right now. Thing is that basically I also need to change the place at which that will hit me. Appears. Uh, turn based enemy, we can go target dot x minus nine six. Let's go minus a hundred. <clears throat> yeah, dusty <laughs> went from being like. Barely doing anything to just completely fucking people up. We're gonna have to do like an average of damage or something.
Yeah, that <laughs> that force activated uh, the um, barrier, which doesn't even protect against it because it's not magic damage. <laughs> Yeah, we're dealing way too much damage. We need to actually. I'm gonna change the damage. <laughs> I'm gonna just change the damage calculation for guns because guns are a little bit too powerful. Uh, let's go to scripts. Go. I need to be able to beat this guy. You know? Okay. Okay. Area does. Yes. Cool. All right. Tech divided by a hundred. So. Oh. Tech divided by. Let's go attack divided by 200 for now. Remembering my damage calculation. Remember, like, I'm sure, like, I remember soon, I did. Okay, there we go. Walked up at the right time. I don't remember what you did ages ago. Coding is rather difficult. Yeah, that still fucks me up. <laughs> Pretty badly as well. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> We're going to go times divided by 400 because that should lower the amount of damage we take <laughs> in each thing. Um, yeah, that should, should be enough, I think. Oh, there's something else I need to do. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to go up here. Change this. The. Oh yeah, oh, obviously. I, a dum dum. Based enemy target rather than minus a hundred. We're gonna go ninety six. Ninety six in but. Yeah, we'll just go minus 90. See how that works. All right, let's see if this works. Mm. 
Okay. That's still a little bit too much. Why is it? Oh, I think... I think I know why. Oh, it's not doing anything. Okay. I think I know why. Does he... There... Attack... Ratio. We need to use... It. Gun rush. That way, it will let guns. All right, here we go. We're gonna go down. Okay. Okay, that deal deals too little damage now. <laughs> that doesn't deal enough damage. Alright, we need to change that. <laughs> Heck, what about 200 maybe? Yeah, because I'm uh, essentially... Guns are going to be... Guns are going to be fairly useful, but it's more in lower levels. I like how you probably use different... Different people against different enemies in Final Fantasy X. Different party members. So, game party members would be able to use different weapons and different weapons. Still not enough. <laughs> Let's see if I can debate. Defeat Dusty. Right before my turn, he gets... I actually should probably make him fairly slow compared to the player. Yeah, Dusty can now kill you. <laughs> um, which makes me wonder, how am I going to... ...make Dusty beatable? How do I make it so that you can actually beat Dusty? Alright, so let's do a few... Let's do a few modifications. Firstly... ...we need to make it... ...so that... We can. Yeah, we need to make Dusty actually beatable. So, firstly, we need to make it so that Dusty. Firstly, I need to change the 
uh, this. So rather than not minus 96, it's like going to be like 86. 86. 86 sounds good. All right. Now with Dusty, I can just change some of the stats around. So I'm going to not give him as much as much defense. I'm going to have 30, 35. Um, defense can come down to 12. Speed can be six. And we'll need oh yeah, we'll need to make it so that we so that you can actually defend. This is gonna defending is gonna be a difficult thing, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll probably use systems that are already in the game, but yeah. Not gonna make him too easy either. Fine, I don't need to, yeah, I need to. a few things make sure everything kind of looks like oh I know why everything doesn't look right a little dusty oh I think dusty is actually gonna win Dusty one. <laughs> All right. An issue that I have had is with the this if I go sprites. Get them back to three. Character, okay. Dusty. Ah, that needs to come back to 30 frames a sec. Needs to also go to 30 frames per second. All right. Now we should be good. At least for that. Not in the defending areas. Still doesn't mean that you can beat Dusty. It's, okay, I need to actually pay attention. All right, come on, Dusty. Ah. I'm 
think it's, I think it's, it's a little bit slower than me. Be attacking pretty soon. Okay, there is a little bit of a glitch there. Not a glitch. Graphical. He make him pull down a little bit slower. Can we beat Dusty? He is a bit slower than us. We might be able to beat him. I think we're going to beat Dusty. I need to also see like how this way. Make. Can't make Dusty too strong. Maybe you'll use some magic. Okay. Now that that is looking a bit better. Alrighty. Yeah, that's definitely looking a bit better. Hmm. We can. Wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, we need to go down to the... Okay, to... So here we are on the turn-based enemy. We go to... We've got the case of Dusty. Okay. Guys, we, yeah, we're going to have to change this. The say more than twenty, I'd say twenty. Change this point two five. Oh, and that's oh, oh, that's. Equals zero. Change that. Right. Three, six. There we go. And then we'll get the target dot dot defending targeted. This. All right. Uh, the issue that we get is, of course, that when we go down to the... When we go down to here, open current event. Um, Okay, so we'll click continue to find. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> Uh, 
because script changing. Um, okay. So Okay, this yeah, this is gonna be How do we go about this? Alright. <laughs> this could potentially lead to a lot of XP. Um <laughs> if done incorrectly. Which I'm initially going to do it incorrectly because uh, you're doing every anything properly correctly for the first time, am I right? Okay. So If continue to find um hmm what can we do? What can we do? That's my question. What can we do? We can go up to here. We can Okay, so we could check, see how much is defending. Okay, okay, I've got an idea. Maybe. We'll see how the idea goes. All right, so we'll go create and in this we'll have a We'll have defend. We need defend. And we'll give that at zero. We'll go to here. And we'll go. To okay. A dot. defend equals well continue defend and then when go down to here somewhere we'll have a add event a cleanup event and we'll go to say that uh, I'd be J oh do we get parent of get parent do we get a parent maybe what if it gets a parent if it doesn't get a parent. Oh, it does get a parent. Okay, what is the thing in Be something. Find out it. Parent? A parent ID? That's probably a thing that I did. 
uh, dot can you defend equal con ten can you defend all right perfect I think it does mean that There are some issues. Time to see if this I have this works. All right. Trying to see if dusty animations work properly. Yeah, parent ID apparently wasn't the thing that I was looking for. Okay, what did I call it? Script underscore I. Uh, it's stats. Uh, origin. What origin? I hope that's what it's called. Jeez, it'd be it'd suck if it wasn't called origin. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing it's called Origin. All right. Find what okay. Continued. Oh. And equals uh, zero. All right. With that, oh, I also need to do like dot y plus random oh, plus i random range negative five to positive five. It'll be somewhere in that range. And that will make things look a little bit nicer. Especially when you've getting the bit beaten out. Done. All right, let's see how, how this works. Let's try and get a perfect block. Oh, we got a perfect block there. Getting full perfect boxes. Hmm. 
Let's see. I'm just gonna see how they. Look at that. I like the animation there. Die. Not quite. I need to. I'll need to do a debug thing to see how many blocks are actually perfect. So I will have to. Yeah. All right, that's getting things working. Things are w working nicely. Um, I don't have many people watching, like three viewers. Maybe someone will come ahead and, you know, watch it to, to the end. <laughs> Unlikely, but, you know. Maybe someone will decide that they'll have this on background. Oh, David Oliver is is here. Ahoy hoy David Oliver. About to end up because <laughs> yeah, just as I was about to end up David Oliver decides to come in. <laughs> yeah because I got things working I think. There will be some issues with it of course but the, I'll probably po polish them off you know polish them in my own time. When you're creating a game like the Beelow Fighters is a mass, in my opinion, it's a masterpiece. But you don't get a masterpiece simply by, um, yeah, you don't just simply get a masterpiece by making it overnight or over the course of eight hours. You polish it. Like the Beelow boss fight took ages. That's one of the most polished fights in the game. I've I've done a lot of testing to make sure leveling is all, all right and all that difficulty. All that kind of stuff. That jazz. Yeah. That's yours watching private program. Oh nice. I have been the past seven hours I've been developing Flurfia. The past um hour ish? few hours probably I've been working on mostly today I've been working on the uh, dusty fight you know making sure the sprites are all all good you know there's going to be a few things that I'm going to need to develop that but yeah it's going to be it's going to be something that will be hopefully be interesting Once I've gotten, once I get some of some things from other people, I'll be able to develop it further. But yeah. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like the stream. Leave a comment letting me know if you um what you'd like to see, especially in Flurfia. Like this is something that I'm going to be spending a lot of time this month just working on. Even after the stream, I'm going to be working on this. I'm mostly going to be getting a bit of a bit of sleep uh, and then I'm going to continue working on it after I get a bit of sleep because I'm tired uh, because my brain is yeah anyway I will see you in the next stream between you and me thank you for watching uh what is this? IBS is over here